Just a little. 
Hello everyone, and welcome to Nerds with Dice. Today we will be playing Unincorporated, a game of small town drama. Uh, but before we get to that, a uh, couple of uh, things got to take care of first. First is that we have merch. You can find it uh, in the link in the chat. There's also a link. On, in the Twitter bio for Nerds with Dice, and we are also sponsored uh, by Grinding Coffee Company. They are a black and LGBTQ plus owned coffee company dedicated to the gaming community, and you can get 10% off by using the code Nerds with Dice or the link in the chat. And of course, today we are here. Uh, playing games to help so showcase them for the trans rights in Texas bundle and last I looked at it it was just shy of 390,000 wow so then they're trying to get to 420 uh, and you <laughs> if you don't have the bundle there's a link in the chat talking about all the details right there and now, I want to start with Maxine. Introduce yourself, your character, and what they look like, please. Hi, my name is Maxine Bachman, um, and today I'll be playing Jolene Emerson. Um, she's the beautician in our story. Uh, basically, she's about 5'5", five, five, around 27 years old, flaming locks of auburn hair, ivory skin, and wait, yeah, ivory skin and eyes of emerald green. You know the drill. Um basically everybody in town knows her she's kind of a sweetheart but also um she's a little flirty with with some people you know you know how that goes that's and that's me i'm uh jolene say my name three times and i'll be there <laughs> all right and bardic uh, yes, hello everybody. I am the Bardic Knot. You can find me on the internet, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, on YouTube, all as the Bardic Knot. And today, I shall be playing um, Jeremy Arkrat. And uh, Jeremy Arkrat, he is a wannabe actor. And basically, he did everything he damn well could. 
he went out there, he tried his best, and he failed miserably. So now he's back here teaching high school. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Niners never died. They were great, and I will not hear any slander in any other way. So uh, that is me, and uh, thank you for having me here today. <laughs> All right, and uh, going down, uh, Crow. Harper, there you go. I see your name now on Zoom. I'm looking at oh. <laughs> so many different things. Harper, go ahead. Uh, hi, I am Harper, uh, Chubby Crow Games on Itch, um, and I am playing uh, a character. Uh, I am playing Hayden Kensington uh, of the uh, Z Ken- Kensingtons, the wealthy, waspy socialite family. Um, but I, I try to let i try to forget that i'm part of that family but it doesn't really work out very well um i'm a bartender and a musician who's just about to make it big i swear no really i'm the lead singer in a local uh grunge rock band and i agree that the 90s never died uh yeah will never die and doreen hi uh i'm Idarin muhammad noor i am uh, more commonly known as Doreen. I am all over social media as Valeris. Today I am playing Ani Hamid Yo. She is a high school senior and waitress at the Golden Phoenix, uh, the family run by her rest, but the <laughs> the restaurant run by her family. <laughs> Though sometimes it does feel like it's the other way around. Um, and she's a little obsessed with cryptids. Uh, mostly keeps to herself, but you know the cryptid thing doesn't really, and the waitressing thing doesn't really leave much time for a social life all right and i am nerdy teddy you can find me on twitter at nerdy teddy i'll be your host today and i will also be playing jenny albright uh who is a waitress at the roadside which is just the roadside diner along the highway that goes next to town and she's just she's very she looks very tired Um, has hair like mine because I've failed to dye it so I have bleach blonde hair with lots of roots and that's sort of what she looks like Uh, she has a nose ring she's very much uh, the person who wishes they actually got out of town when they had the chance and now just kind of feel stuck here because it's expensive to move and all right now that we've introduced our characters, I want to go over some of the rules, because this is a gm game, which means the rules are a little bit different. Uh, first things first is primary and secondary characters. All the characters we just introduced are all our primary characters. That's who we're playing. Uh, secondary characters are what would be the NPCs in a game with a GM, but instead, when people appear in different uh, scenes... One of us takes on one of the secondary characters and everybody can kind of uh, input, you know, traits and stuff, suggest things for those NPCs while we play them. We just take turns. Uh, I think we'll probably just go with the overlay and we'll go through scenes so you can uh, either choose the scene working towards your plot or working towards somebody else's plot. You can choose to be a character in their plot as your primary character or a secondary one. If you work towards somebody else's plot, you get a token. Tokens you get to use for all kinds of things. Uh, Mostly, uh, mostly shifting and raising your dice results one tier. Um, you can shift, use a token to shift your reputation on the graph, and you can, uh, spend a token to raise another player's result by one tier, and shift their reputation square towards the traits. You can, uh, if you, basically, if you think they can do this, you can shift their reputation to help them out. Um, you can also offer a player a token to lower a plus 10 row, uh, result to a 79 
meaning that we get to add a complication to what's happening. <clears throat> Drama. <laughs> exactly. And of course, <laughs> if you collect three tokens, you can do what's called breaking the slate once per game, once per session. Um, if we were playing a longer game, you basically, when nobody expects, uh, you do something that respect reflects who you think you are, not what everybody else thinks you are, and you create a new stat. Doesn't need to be cute, clever, whatever. Don't stress too much about it. But you, you know, you just pick a stat that you think r reflects your characters more. So Jeremy might pick the '90s, and that's just their stat. All your other stats would go to zero, and you get a plus two then in the 90s and of course you'll want to match it try to match it to your what you're doing somehow but that's sort of the idea and that is called breaking the slate we'll talk more about rolling dice when we get there um right, so i will take the first scene and uh i think I think we'll work towards my plot, and I think mm -hmm. it's going to be me and Jolene, since uh, Claire is staying with you. So I think we are maybe at the beauty parlor and okay. having a conversation. Is uh, Is Claire there as well as secretary, or is she not there yet? I don't think she's there yet. Okay. Like it's okay. just me and you if uh anybody else wants to also be there they can choose to be there as well okay here we go <laughs> and I, I think we're just having a conversation where i'm trying to convince you to help me get claire to stick she's gotcha okay already has plans to leave Free. so okay uh i i don't know much we uh I don't know in the beauty parlor. I can't say much on that, uh, but I can I can ask. Uh, we, you know, we could always use maybe like a secretary, somebody to help us uh, clean up around here, possibly. But again, I don't own the beauty parlor. I can't I can't speak for the manager. I can just put in a good word. <clears throat> yeah, I just I, I I'm supposed to meet her later at, at hot shots and we're gonna talk about this and i'm gonna try to convince her to not leave again but she last time i talked to her she was pretty dead steady. i was just you know hoping that you would be able to help offering a job's a great start but i don't know if she wants to stay here and be a secretary she always had bigger dreams than that but it's a good start, right? I I agree. I think it's a good start. I mean, if, if somebody don't want to be where they are, they might leave whether you want them to or not. But I mean, I can I can give it a go. I can always give it a go. Uh, and I'll, and I'll I'll turn around and I'll go over to the to the front like little desk reception area and just take out a sticky note and just kind of write down um what uh what's her name again claire uh claire uh claire uh just, does she have a phone number does she have a home phone does she have a cell phone something like that well, I, I mean, she's staying with you so i'm sure she has your oh. home phone that claire i'm sorry yes, that I claire. i'm sorry it's been a day it has been a day all the few you would not believe how many people I come I come through here. I'm so sorry. It's, it's fine. a lot on my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I just take it and I rip up the one little piece of paper and I throw it away. <laughs> I, I declare, I'm so sorry. I, my mind must be other places right now. <laughs> it's fine. It happens. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, it's very um, nice of you to do this. Thank you. I, I, yeah, I mean, it I definitely helps me with rent, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, um, win win, I guess. 
that's <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess in in terms of how this works out, what we'll do is. Because this seems sort of uh, coming to an end, and so I'm going to roll my dice uh, at a plus one uh, to to help like determine this the the consequences of this, uh, okay. whether or not there's a job waiting for Claire at the beauty parlor. So our okay. stats are our reputation. So okay. depending on where you put yours is so mine. I put mine on the one square for prep and nerd. Gotcha. So I will be I'm... rolling with my prep. So I will get a one here. So I have rolled a seven. Let me... I switched mine over because I forgot to switch mine over last time. But okay. Which so means rolled... we succeed. So I, I succeed. I convince you. Four. You are able to talk to the boss, and there's a job waiting. However, uh, each player gets to suggest a complication, and we can I I can then choose one or more and use it in the outcome. So I think I'm going to suggest a complication of minimum wage. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I would like to suggest the complication that your boss has also um, been talking to another person about the position. Okay. So might want to, you know, split uh, hours. Oh, or there's a time limit on, on they can't yeah. think about it too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I also have a suggestion on who that person might be, but, you know, that might be a bit much for a 7-9. Part of me thinks I know who you're talking about. I'm just like, <laughs> <"Ooh, it's wrong." laughs> All right. Any other complications? Um. Maybe there's someone else like working there that is just gonna clash really hard with Claire. Possibly. Okay. Um. Or like the there the person. <laughs> Uh, just possibly said person is one of those people like I don't like change and, and we're all like why do we need somebody why do we need to hire somebody else to do what we can all do like because normally you know you have all the beauticians and then they'll sign the person in do the thing and then go to they're like we, we don't need a secretary like <laughs> right like there's that vibe of why are we making so. this one random new job for someone who doesn't want to be here <laughs> what <laughs> so I'm not sure how this idea would work, but Claire, your roommate, yes, is she aware of your relationship with the relationed person? No, relationship I'm keep that under lock and key, bro. <laughs> Dude, my it's my best friend's <laughs> husband. Of course, it's under lock and key. <laughs> Wait, it's I your who? What? How, look, I don't know how I feel right now about it. We're. It's just things are just happening and it's a little fast right now so i don't i don't know uh wait dolly's your best friend yeah you didn't know where you haven't seen us around town <laughs> like she's one of my best clientele obviously <laughs> is why we're besties well, surely that could be the complication because doesn't claire think that she's best friends with you Ooh. if she's staying with you that's fair and dolly's your a regular at the salon so yeah. you'd be cl like clashing these two social circles yeah you yeah. can't have two best friends at the same place it was the first the spot time. on your myspace top eight <laughs> <laughs> it is the 90s <gasps> yep yep okay <laughs> i think i think i like uh that somebody else is also trying to get that job and the best friend angle like that there might be a little bit of clashing there with Mm -hmm. Two people, and I, I, I think I know you were probably thinking Dolly was the other person. Yes, my best think... friend or my roommate who gets the no. job. Damn it! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay. Off the yeah. back, no. guys. No, because there's good... five people in town. Basically, <laughs> 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 we all chose a person. Six, there's ten people six, in town. There's Claire, six. <laughs> <laughs> 
book. I've I've I grew up sort of in a town that was less than five hundred people. No matter what you do, it always feels like there's only ten people yep. in town. Yeah. Yep. And you don't like seven of them. <laughs> exactly. Uh all right. Jolene, your turn to uh select a scene and uh okay so i kind of want to play off that and it's later on that evening after work uh and we are at uh babe's bar and grill and uh, for after work just getting some drinks and um i had asked claire to come you know because i had some some news to let him know uh so it's claire and myself at the bar um discussing said job proposal can okay. uh hayden can hayden be in the background of that since hayden oh, is yeah. a bartender yeah. there yep. oh yeah and because this is my plot that you're going to be working towards you get a token for that oh yay does anybody want to play claire oh uh i can do it okay <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, put me in coach put me in <laughs> basically <laughs> wow it is so weird being back in the old places jolene it's like nothing has changed i mean some things could change um look i i mentioned on the phone uh a job opportunities come up i think it'd oh. be it'd be helpful yeah um it would be uh the secretary uh where i work at the beauty parlor so you could get some possibly discounts on you know getting your hair done and stuff getting it all did up it'd be fun um it is uh couldn't couldn't swing more than minimum wage but that's fine that's fine um you'll get to see me every day all day which is from what i hear a lovely thing um so we live together which by the way i want to thank you for because if i had to move back in with my parents oh, i don't, I don't no, know I, <laughs> I understand completely coming back to coming coming to a, back to this place is you definitely need some space to be it on your own so i just thought it'd be a you know and and thank you so much for helping me with rent it's it's made things so much easier on a you know well having a job salary. So having a job would definitely make exactly. it easier for me to help you with rent. But I don't know if I really want to, like, you know, well, let's put, put down roots way. again. It would be real smart for you to save up for what you need to do. So just stay here for a few more years, save up, and then you've got so much time left to just, you'll have the, the means, you'll have the opportunities. You don't know what'll happen in a few years. You might, you might need to stay home and make sure your parents are all right just for a little bit longer. Um, if you're going to be gone for a while, you got to take every moment, take every moment you can stay here. Oh, I just don't know. I don't know if I'll actually be saving any money if I like stay here. It's okay. What city did I come back from? What city do you want to say I came back from? What's the closest big city? I thought you were asking. Like, in yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't, I don't know how to, like, say I'm, I'm going out of character. You're good. You're good, good. Uh, I, I don't, we didn't really decide which state. Um, Are you just the big city? I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like. City. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like, you know, after, you know, after going to school in Metropolis and getting all of these student loans and I just. I don't know. It's now exactly. I'm back here That's again. Why you stay it's like I never left. Build up, build up your, build up your funds. Build up that, uh, build I mean, that up. I mean, I want, working as a secretary will help you on your resume. Do you know how Jolene, many secretarial jobs there are out there? You'll need it on your resume. Jolene, I want to be a journalist. It's like, what is there to cover in this small town? Oh, we don't I'm even sure. have a paper anymore. I'm sure there's drama somewhere. Uh, I could be the next Lois Lane, but instead I'm back here in Shady Rock Cove and- Well, think of it like exercising with weights on. Like you gotta work at the hardest places sometimes and then the rest of your life will be easy. I mean, think of it. If you go to a big city, there will be, you'll be overwhelmed with all the amount of things you can journalize and and, and 
put your fancy words to and stuff. But like right now, you need to get a good solid start. And that's what I'm offering. I'm offering a good solid start. Um, I, I do need to let you know. Um, also, there is somebody else trying for the job. So I do need to know an answer. Um, is it Jenny? No, not Has she Jenny. said anything about me since I came back? No, no, I, it's a confidentiality thing that we beauticians keep with our, our clients. I, oh, you do her hair? Oh, I do everybody's hair, darling. I do I'm just saying hair. her roots are growing out a little bit, and I'm not, like, saying that oh, in Oh, I've been telling her she needs way. to come back. Let no, you know. Okay. Just saying. I mean, she's got to stay up with her grandma up in the up in the hills there, and so she'll she, when she comes back, I'm sure she'll see me or or one of the other beauticians there. <laughs> it's only like two of us, so. Well, I'll think about it. I mean, I guess it is the best. I, I'm saying this in like the nicest way possible, but I guess it is the nicest offer, I I, the best I, offer I have right now. And I'm, oh, hey, is that Hayden Kensington? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to town. How's it been? Hey, how are you? You look exactly the same. Ow. So do you. Oh, really? I've been all right. How's it been over there in the big, uh, big metropolis? Oh, it's fine. Expensive. You know how it yeah. is. You sticking expensive. around long? I'm I don't know. To, I'm trying to tell Claire that she needs to stay in town a little while longer. Not necessarily keep root, but just build up her funding so that when she does go out to that expansive big world out there, she's able to hold her own, keep her ground, and stay out a little longer. Maxine's trying to get me a J-O-B. I don't know who this Maxine is, but Jolene. Uh, I'm sorry, Jolene. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Jolene's trying it's to get me a J-O-B. Name. It's fine. You Jolene, look just Maxine, like Maxine Emerson. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your beauty is so blinding. It makes me forget your name sometimes. I understand. I get that often. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I I get it. That that does sound like a smart plan, and you know, I'm sure your family could use a little bit of help while you're around. But mm. how's your band? <sighs> uh, we're actually doing real good. We're doing real good. We got a gig next weekend. Uh, I really think that uh, this one could open some doors for us so hmm. things are things are going pretty great where at? is it here uh it is here and uh we are not getting paid uh but <laughs> i think I hey think you don't want to sell it to the man attention. man I... and that's fair where's your next gig i'd love to come see you i mean it's, maybe it's, I here. Make... it's here at the bar we're playing oh it's here, here. Yeah. oh that's maybe great. i could like maybe i could cover it and I still have some contacts back in Metropolis and see if I can put it in, like, you know, on a cultural radar thing. Or online, see, maybe. I could start a blog. There, see? This could be the lead of a story for you. Just up-and-coming, famous musicians. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I mean, if it that... goes well, I could do, like, a background Wait. day in the life of a up-and-coming... What kind of music did you guys do again? Uh, we are a, a grunge rock band. Do you think you could do some still. covers of country? Just, just asking. You say still? I mean, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, no, totally. It's like the '90s are back in a big way. The no, '90s never, never left, but uh... oh, oh yeah. I mean, at least not in Shady in Shady Brook Co. Shady Rock Co. whose name I can never get right. I don't oh, even remember the naming. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a me thing. That's a dream thing. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, I'm sure it'll be great. And yeah, it's I. But no, seriously, I would love to cover it. I mean, yeah, that'd be it's that'd be awesome. Also I would exposure. appreciate that. Exposure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will be there with Jolene if she's not working. Right. Of course. Uh, again, I shouldn't be. Um, I mean, it starts. It's it starts at ten, so it's probably going to be. In the morning uh, or night? No, I'm in, working in the evening. In the okay, good. The I'm, I'm working in the morning. I got me a nine to five. Got to work that nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course. I understand. <laughs> so, but yeah, no, 10 o'clock now. I can, I got that. I got you. I got you, boo, hun. I got you. I'll make sure she's there. 
Is there a cover charge? Uh, there is a cover, but you'll you'll get in for free. We'll 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 uh, we'll get you in oh, if you're going to be covered. Ooh, on a press pass. In, How on official. a press pass, yeah. Right, See, I will be look there. at all these opportunities coming up your way. All you have to do is say yes, sweetie. Okay, how can I say no to that face? Oh, I, I will let my boss know. Thank you so much. Now I'm just imagining <laughs> Hayden working like the front door at his own show. <laughs> <laughs> like, Don't worry, I'll get you in. <laughs> Here's your press pass. Writes it down <laughs> on the that, He means he covers the charge himself. It's- it's a sticky note taped to her <laughs> necklace. <laughs> it's like, you got a necklace. <laughs> it's supposed to be the drummer, but they're still working off their hangover. That makes sense. Uh, their lead the... singer works at a bar. Of course they're working on um, All right. Oh. So, uh, generally the stat for convincing people of things uh, is prep. And so, mm-hmm. Maxime, want to roll uh, plus your prep, which I think is two? I think so. My reputation is that corner between prep and jock. Yep, so. then, then it's two. It's two, so I rolled two. Two d6, and then... Two d6. Ooh. Eleven? I got six and a three. All right. So you mm-hmm. succeed. You get to say what happened. Like, happens with. Uh... Um, I am going to, while they're talking about press badges, text my boss and say, "Hey, I got somebody. Hold spot. I got somebody." Um, and then I'm. Let's see. And then the we're going to start making a like poster so we know like time and date and like actually lock it down so we can't be like, oh, no, something happened. Like so we can actually start like passing this flyer out. Okay. I'm setting into motion a a concert happening, no matter how many it may be, Uh, a a concert and (laughs) the job uh okay her having a leg up on it and i and i think all of this just kind of puts the the idea in claire's head that like yeah i can stay there is yeah. something to do, to do here <laughs> yeah of course we'll find something <laughs> we'll make uh, it happen <laughs> don't make me it's a newspaper crap. when you have the internet <laughs> Look, if you leave and I ain't got nobody else in the house, any bad things could happen. So stay. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that reminds me. I heard like a rumor about you uh, getting a new best friend since I left. Oh. Oh, don't don't don't. Okay, that face is I how I know you are super guilty. I wouldn't say we're best friends. I would just say. Um... When I came back to town, you know, I came back to town a few months prior to you. Um, well, more to town, not back to town, to town. Um, uh, you know, Dolly and her husband, uh, well, they have been super- She got married? They got married? She did. She married Carl? Ugh, he was always cheating on her. I don't know what you're talking about, but they've been super sweet to me. Super oh. sweet. Mm. Uh, so- uh, Dolly's one of my pa- uh, my best patrons. She comes all the time to get her hair did. So, hmm. um, but now you're back in town, so I get to hang out with you. Uh, also, so true. yeah. Now I just I don't have, want us getting. Mm-hmm. I have two besties now. Okay, I just, I guess I just don't want us getting sick of each other if we're like oh. in each other's business oh. all the time. Oh, darling, I could never be sick of you. You're my okay. <laughs> honey. Could I anyone get sick of you, Claire? <laughs> Uh, ew. Oh, nice to see you again too, Hayden. <laughs> Hi, <man. laughs> Are you? It's like, did you want to sit down with us? Reminisce um, about the good old days. I'm working. Thanks. Okay. Do you have a, a bar stool behind the bar? <laughs> <laughs> see, I just love the idea of hanging up. No, I'm working. 
camera pans out to so you're the only two people in the bar. <laughs> is sitting down. I, I, I grab a glass from I? the dish rack and I start wiping it. <laughs> it's already clean. <sighs> All right, I think it's time to, to wrap that scene up. And yeah. it is Jeremy's turn. Um, okay, I think I would actually like to work towards Hayden's plot. Uh, so, um, we're just doing the plot before us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so I think that gives you a token too, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, looking for somebody yeah. else's. Yeah. Yeah. Just a meta gaming so hard. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what it's actually there for. It's to encourage you to. Work. <laughs> <laughs> um. So where would I be? Uh, I think. You know what? I think I would like to be at the. What's the name of it called? I, the the shooting range. It's it's uh, hot, hot shots. shots. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I would like to be there, and um, I think because uh, I know that. Um, oh God, my brain is awful with names. Very much a character's name. Ani. <laughs> Ani. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're all yeah. on the Google document too. So. Yeah. Yeah. That. But then I'd have to remember I can read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bold all the names. Um, and I know that Ani spends time there, so uh, that I, I think might be the person I'm currently interacting with at this shooting range, trying to blow off some steam after that big old argument from last night. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will be at the counter chatting up the uh, girl behind it when uh, you come in. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm looking up. Oh. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, hi there, uh, uh, Miss uh, Ani. Um, so can I just get like uh, a big old. I I've never been here before. I ain't much of the shooter. Can I just get like a big old box of them? Um, what what do you call them things? The the things you can put in the, the gun and it goes bang? Well, it depends on what you're shooting, but uh she but uh Emma could probably help you better with that. Do you uh, did what? you bring a rifle or a pistol? Oh I thought we I thought you, you got on here. Uh no I You I, can I, rent I, one. I, okay, uh, I'll, you know, I, Emma I would like to do that. <laughs> Right, wonderful. Uh, so yes, uh, Miss um, Sarah, who, who who are you behind the counter? I I ain't never been here before. Uh, you, you know, you think a town this small, but uh, it's almost as if I have been actively avoiding this establishment for many many years. Uh. Who wants to? Does anybody want to play Emma, the girl behind the counter at Hot Shots? Oh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll jump in on that. Uh, yeah, I I think we'll. Um, just get you started on a twenty-two pistol. I you... think I only need one. I don't. I don't think I need twenty-two of them. <laughs> no <laughs> offense, Mister Arkwright, but do you know how to shoot? Uh, nope. But in a long time, uh, uh, in fact, I'm, I'm sure I must have shown you one time in class. My my old show rule, my old show reel. Oh gosh, look at me, uh, tongue all tangled up. Um, uh, but I had to use uh, a prop gun. And um, that was oh. wonderful. Shot myself in the foot. That's, but okay, like, so that was just facilities. acting, right? <laughs> that was just acting, right? I thought you were acting in that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I, I, I think we'll, ooh, we'll actually ooh. just go to the training pistol for now. Um, do you it only shoots want blanks, to... but it's, you know. Did you want to take the um, training course as well, or are you just? Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I just want to have one of them moments where I stand in front of something and I, I, I blast it full of holes, and then I feel real good about myself, because, oh, I got a doozy oh. of um, uh, emotional issues to, to Mr. Arkwright, today. Mr. Uh, Arkwright, is this, a, okay, hey, Emma, I'm really sorry, I don't want to take business away from you, but Mr. Arkwright, is this about the fight last night? Uh, 
We are technically not in school grounds, so you are technically a human being, so I'm allowed to share my I am also 18. Uh, also that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it, it is about five. I, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I mean, I was there. Um, pardon my I friend. was there, and I totally yeah, understand it, why. I mean, my mom was so mad when I came home covered in beer, so now she thinks I'm an alcoholic. Great. So, um, yeah. I, I just can't believe uh, that Hayden started that whole uh, rigmarole, uh, uh, absolute, absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And, you know, it, shenanigans, heresy, one might even say. Do you, do you want to, maybe, maybe we could just, like, do a picture of you in front of a shot-up target for social medias. Would that make you feel better? You don't actually have to shoot anything if you don't want to. You know what, that's even better. <laughs> Hey, Anna, let's grab oh. one of those targets behind the counter. Ooh, ooh, no, take one of mine. <laughs> it's um, a, can, can it's a, it? it's what? a, you see that it's a target of, um, of the cove creature, or, uh, what's it called? It's a bowman, <laughs> of, of the bowman beast. So, yeah, it's, he's sort of like, he's a mini industry around here. See, it's like, I got him, like, one in, one in each eye. No, if I actually saw him in person, I wouldn't shoot him, of course, unless he was attacking me, like... That poor guy behind BDs. Uh, it, it would be self defense, but otherwise, I'm planning on like just using a taser. Wait, wait. What is it? That thing? Uh, this thing? Uh, the, sorry, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Bowman. The Bowman Beast? Uh, the the oh, yeah. Cove Critter? Oh. It's a. You've heard, oh. you, Mr. Arkwright, you know about the cryptid. You don't know about the cryptid? Emma! Help me out here. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Look, I mean, it's a big story around here. The beast that lives in Bowman Lake. You really didn't hear about that. Is this like one of them Mothman's? Yes, he roams the halls they of have high school. Nice He's way cooler than Mothman. Way cooler. But does it have a nice ace? Because I know that's a big thing. <laughs> Well, mm, you know, I'm pretty sure the only way to find out would be to capture him. Did you want to join the club? Emma isn't technically part of the club, but I did get Jenny, um, Jenny, oh shoot, I can never remember her last name, to join. Right now it's just her and me, but you know, I'm pretty sure Sheriff Wagstaff was okay with it. He said he would let me borrow his like night vision binoculars to stake out behind BB's bar and grill, because, you know of the killing. Yeah. And I know that they said that technically yeah. it was just a heart attack or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that old man Duncan had a heart attack because he saw the Cove Critter. You know what? Back in my days of junior college, I, I remember I was in a student film called It Came From Beneath the Rocks. And someone in that died of a heart attack because they got a mighty big scare from something. We, you know, we couldn't afford any special effects, so it's just a chihuahua with a, 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 a big cape attached to it, but boy, it did look good on film. So I, 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 I believe I'll based on a true story as well. You don't have, like, a, you don't have cardiac issues, though, do you? Um, not that I'm okay, good. currently aware All right, of. then you're in the club. All right, wonderful. Hey. Now, uh... Now, let's take your picture. Here, do you, this? here I'll, take you, I'll take your picture for you. The, the back camera yeah. is always better than the front camera. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, so, what kind of um, firearm uh, would would I use to do I, do I get like a big rifle, or am I gonna be like one of them, them cool people from like uh, one of them action movie drama things that I got a little pistol and they're like, yeah. I think you're more. You seem. You strike me as more of a James Bond type, right, Emma? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see uh, it. Um, you can't tell mm -hmm. from a distance that it's just a spy <laughs> No, <laughs> no bullets, right? You're just taking a <laughs> picture. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll. He can use one of the actual handguns for that. Make sure the safety's on. <laughs> yes. yes <of laughs> make course. sure it's empty and the safety's on. Okay, say cove critter. <laughs> uh, cove creature, critter, critter, cove critters. It's like, it doesn't really, I don't think it cares. <laughs> <laughs> like, tap, 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 pictures. Do you want me to post this to Insta for you? 
Um, or TikTok. Ooh, we can do a viral video for TikTok. No, actually, maybe we shouldn't. Oh, I, I'm, I'm not entirely certain what this uh, TikTok is. Is that like the memes? Mm, yeah. do, do, they, do they have a, one of them apps now on the, 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 the clever phones? Oh, don't worry. I'll just, I'll set it all up for you. Oh, you have a pretty nice phone, Mr. Arkwright. Uh, thank you. Uh, the person at the shop said it was the most future-proof phone available, and that's why it costs so dang much. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll get you all up to speed in the 21st century. <laughs> all right. All right. Tip, tip. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be your social role, so roll your, your prep, and we'll see okay. how... Um, okay, so that is a six on the die, and I have a plus two, so that is an eight. All right. <laughs> I think the obvious complication is that uh, some of your students don't believe you know how to handle a gun and think you're <laughs> just standing in front of a target. <laughs> it's his, uh, it's... Uh, I, I, yeah, I set up like a whole bunch of open social media accounts for him, and, like all his, <laughs> you know, and then blast it out to like all my friends, <laughs> high school friends. Oh, I'm going to get bullied by high school students. I tag hot shots. <laughs> Bringing the drama. <laughs> hot shots and hot shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emery tweets it. <laughs> you just you just have a, a hashtag hot shots at hot at hot shots. Oh yeah. And it's just all the people <laughs> So everybody like soon everybody in town knows uh everybody. Yeah. Right. Oh and I also say I also say uh I put like um Let's see. Do I tag Hayden with like a frowny face? Yes, I'll do that. And I tag Hayden with a frowny face underneath. <laughs> <laughs> just at, we're just at him. Damn. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> and okay, I think <laughs> that scene ends uh, and it is Hayden's turn. <laughs> Your phone beeps. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I love that. Uh, let's see. Where was the argument? It was at Pickles Bar and Local Cuisine. Uh, so I think you uh, went to um, the other bar. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> As somebody who worked at a bar for eight years, I <laughs> did not like hanging out at my own bar. That, that makes sense. That's fair. Um, actually, I think uh, let's. I'll, I'll keep the the you know doing someone else's plot thing going. Why don't we we do uh, Jolene's uh, <laughs> delivery plot? Okay. So okay. We can be we can be at the grill uh, or at BB's. Um, it could probably be after your conversation with. Claire, I don't know if timeline matters a lot, but uh, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, sorry, I'm awkward with GMless games. <laughs> um, that's, that's fine. Um, Bardic, do you want to play Ned? Um, imagine Ned somewhere in the. So uh who's ned My the the just... bar back at, at ned movies. is the the bar back yeah uh yeah i can and do that he knows something that could get me fired that is undisclosed yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm totally good i can do ned uh so how about uh the scene is after like claire leaves and like jolene is like oh hey i have this this thing to deliver and I don't know where to I guess yeah so I just I just kind of come through the door and I've got this I would it be in a box or just just the binoculars and a sticky note that is very wet at this point just like trying to dry it off 
I, I'm, I'm going to say that's what it is. I, it's not like in a box or anything. I just kind of have it. It's, Dang it. You just have I'm these having... night vision binoculars that are probably worth more than anything in this town. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they might be in like a, one of those like little cases. Like a yeah. case with a, yeah. Like a hard case. So I have it like a purse and just hold it. Dang it. Every single time I need it. <sighs> oh, totally well, welcome back, Jolene. What can I, what can I help you with this time? Oh, I, I have these here, these silly knockler thingies, and I just, I gotta get them to either here or the school auditorium. I can't tell. I left my sticky note that had the address on it next to my beautician stand, and I got it all wet. Now I don't know where to put it. Either here or the school auditorium? Yeah, I know they're real different places. What kind of handwriting but... do you have? <laughs> well, it wasn't me that did the handwriting. That's probably ah. here. Look, and I, and I give it to you, and it's, it, you can tell it could literally be that, either of the two. Cause I'll... That could say either. Well, I'll be damned. It's crazy. <laughs> it is the craziest thing. Two completely different places looking exactly the same one wet. It's like... When you put your hair underwater, you can't tell whether it's blue or black. Like you can't tell you can't tell it's many colors under the water. You just gotta wait till it's dry. And I was hoping Yeah, this is I don't think it's gonna help being dry. This is just like that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who uh who who why are you delivering who what what's going on? Why do you have this? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, I what, think, like, who, why are you delivering this? Um, it's actually a really good question. I took the plot and forgot to ask. <laughs> Sorry, what's this supposed to be a gotcha? <laughs> who gave it to me? Uh, you, it was dropped off at the store this morning. Uh, and I said, I can take it. And so I don't necessarily uh, know who it is. So, there so what if the, what if the package came from the sheriff? And it was a deputy who got the place he was supposed to drop it off wrong. He was supposed gotcha. to drop it off at the Golden Phoenix, but he dropped it off at the beauty parlor instead. Gotcha. And told you As who he it was for. he came to get for. his hair done and then left without it. <laughs> his, his sticky note also got wet. Yeah. But that's that's what ha- he came and did. And I, I figured, you know, I had the address right here. Might as well just drop it off. But... <laughs> Lord knows, clumsy me sometimes. I just got all wet and now I don't know where it goes. I should probably ask him. I should probably just give it back to him. But I mean, I've gone this far already. Might as well <laughs> keep yeah, going. I mean, well, here, why don't you uh why don't you have a seat and I'll uh I'll grab a, a glass and, and pour whatever it is that you normally get when you, you know, have a beer or something. Shirley Temple, sure, why not? <laughs> Shirley <laughs> Temple. Uh <laughs> And uh, just like, all right, well, who could need binoculars that would either be here or at the school? I mean, I feel like if it's here, I'm supposed to meet a specific person. I don't know any person that uh, would necessarily want it. I mean, I know. Uh... Hey, Ned. <laughs> you get you get some uh, some fancy night vision binoculars ordered. All right, well, I don't think they're for Ned. <laughs> well, that mixes that out of seven people in here off the list. Um, there's a possibility that it could be my roommate. Um, she's been wanting to get doing crazy stuff. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if Claire seems like the not I don't either. vision binoculars type. But I don't know why they wouldn't have just given it to me or her uh, specifically. And it was supposed to go to this... Sticky note address, but I mean, <laughs> crazier things have happened, I guess. Um, I'm gonna send a text to the sheriff because I just assume we all have each other's phone numbers. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna be like, I have uh, binoculars from your deputy and I don't know what to do with them. I was trying to send them to an address, but I don't know the address. I'm going to try at the school next. Uh, all, right, <laughs> all right. Um roll roll. I think that's a prep roll to see if you 
if you... Do I roll that since it's my scene, or does she roll it since yeah. she's? I think doing I the think thing? Uh, she rolls it because she's the one doing it. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a five and a three, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, Heck yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you succeed. You have the sheriff's number. What, what does the sheriff's? Cool. I just just to see um, if it if he needs if the guy needs it back or if I can give it to somebody. Um, he could be super vague and not tell me. Yeah, you can take it. And yeah, I mean, you get you get to like, you get to say what he says. So it's it's up okay. to you how dramatic you want. Um. Okay. Wait, where did it have to go to? The Golden Phoenix? Either here or the... Oh, that's right. Yeah. Golden Phoenix. Okay. I'm going to say that he tells me that it needs to go to the Golden Phoenix. Um, and so I'm, after the scene, going to take a walk by my lonesome behind my beauty parlor to get to the... <laughs> to get to the uh, Golden Phoenix. Which... I don't know why I didn't. It's supposed to go to Golden Phoenix. I don't know why I came here for why I came here, but oh, stupid sticking out! I'm all over. Wait, it's supposed to go to the Golden Phoenix, but that says auditorium or or the grill. I understand that, but water does funny things. I guess I don't know. Uh, but that's what the text says right here. It's supposed to go to the Golden Phoenix. Um. I'm gonna go to the Golden Phoenix now. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> I just get, I get all right, up. Good, good luck. Let let me know if everything goes all right, or if you need help or something. Oh, it should be fine. I I'm real good. Take care of myself. I'll be back. Okay, bye. <laughs> and I and I walk out the door. I love the idea that like Jolene walks out, and then like five minutes later, Ani walks in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm, I look around. I'm like, oh, hey, Ned. Hey. hey. <laughs> it is on uh, the scene next, so. Um. Yeah. Did. Oh. Um. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, I was. So if it was my scene next, I kind of wanted. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Now I'm being super awkward. Um. That's right. so I live I'll in just, that state. It's fine. I'll just continue. I guess I'll just continue the scene, though. I kind of want to work on other people's plots. So, um, I'll do, oh, I'll say that I just left. Um, I left. I just left Hot Shots, where uh, where Claire and Jenny were finally having their conversation, and I will be here at uh, BB's. I'm like, hey, Ned. Anything interesting happened in the back alley recently? on my walk home this way nope. ned nope okay well ned's in the background right. he'll be back no. <laughs> <laughs> hayden's like sitting at the bar and looking at their phone and then sees the picture that they're tagged in and it's just like wait what <laughs> hey hey ani what's uh what's all this about what's all what about hold up the, the picture this uh uh that jeremy holding the gun tagged me in this picture what's uh <laughs> you yeah, don't and... you don't remember oh it's not a threat oh no no that's horrifying especially considering threat <laughs> especially considering what you did to him last night and what me, did I do to Je- my mom what is did like, do to mad at you well, okay, so first of all, he was carrying a tray of drinks, and you just, like, you know, flipped it over right up onto me, and I had to go right home, you know, soaked in alcohol. So that was super fun to explain to my mom, Mrs. Yo, you know, my Asian mom, Love who's you, like, Yo. yeah, Hold she's up. like, who doesn't even like me going to hot shots ordinarily, but she knows that I need to learn how to protect myself, and, you know, and then I come home reeking a booze. So, thanks, buddy. Hang on. Okay, hold up. Now, Hot Shots indoor shooting range. And outdoor. 
and does outdoor. Not serve, does not serve alcohol. Why was Jeremy carrying a bunch of drinks? No, no, last night. You were really hammered. <laughs> Do you not I? remember? Yeah, I, I went to like pickles. I don't remember. I don't remember anything. <laughs> well, hang on. Wait a minute. I went to I went to where now last night? Pickles. <laughs> and I, I spilled think... beer on you and Jeremy. Well, I don't know. You and him are having some kind of altercation. So oh, I think it's something shit. you need to bring up with Mr. Ar Arkwright because I don't know what you two are fighting about. But next thing I know, a tray of drinks was spilled on me. And then I'm in the deep doo-doo with my mom. So well, I am so sorry, Ani. I can I can call your mom and, and tell her it wasn't your fault, but mm. I don't know. Oh jeez. You know what she'd really like? She'd like if you'd come in and order like the lunch special and then maybe you could just like mention it to her or something. <laughs> don't yeah, call I can, her. I can do time. that. I can do yeah. that, Ani. Okay. Wait, okay. so so you were hanging out with with uh, Mr. Arkwright, did did No, he... you no, I mean, just when you took Ow. the picture with the gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was chatting with Emma at the, uh, at the, it's like, it's like, chat, I don't usually hang out with, like, old people, no offense, but, um, <laughs> but, you know, but he was in there, and he did not know what he was doing, and he was, like, and he was talking about, like, shooting himself in the foot, and he just wanted to, like, make himself feel better, because apparently you made him feel really terrible yesterday. Good job. Oh, my God. And the then... teenager. <laughs> <laughs> she's, like, a senior. She has, like, zero Fs to give. And, love um... I can tell. I love it. Wait, so why were like, you in the bar, bar Ani? <laughs> in pickles? Yeah. Well, because I was tired of, like... I was tired of Chinese food leftovers. I just wanted to, like... Get a burger, a late night burger. That's fair. So, yeah. Anyway, also they have those fried pickles. <sighs> those I've are lived good. here my entire life, and they are like the best thing oh, I've wait. ever eaten. Now I remember eating those pickles. I guess I was there. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did he say anyway. what we were fighting about? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like I know you think I'm nosy, but I'm really not that nosy. So, but yeah, he like he was really upset and he wanted to like feel better by shooting a bunch of things and emma and i persuaded him that maybe he just needed to like take a picture with the target and then i took his picture and he told me he didn't have any like social medias so i put him up on insta and tiktok and snapchat he doesn't really have any friends on snapchat he but you know and that's with it He'll, have, he'll be that person that has one video and one picture on his social media and never ever looks at it again <laughs> He's like a hundred thousand likes for one baby. <laughs> <laughs> the whole school, whole school. And then Aren't I you know, that I guy just... who wanted to kill that grunge singer? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The drama. Oh, the nineties isn't dead yet. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> what have I said into motion? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and at least try to figure out what the hell I said and try and patch things over. Uh, I, like, send a text to Jeremy that just says, like, hey, man, real sorry about whatever happened last night. Can I buy you a beer to make up for it? And then, like, a, a thumbs up emoji. Is that a social role, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I think it would be a social role if you think there's a the outcome uh yeah i mean that's a minus two for me that works pretty dope <laughs> do it uh that is a four okay so well, that means the rest of us get to who's suggest... least involved in the, the scene yeah so that means uh oh, um i was about to say isn't this technically against another player character oh yeah Oh, yeah. Your target right. decides what happens unless you give them a token to change the role to a 7 and 9. I don't want to give... I, I got a token for having the scene be about uh, Jolene's story last time, but I don't want to do that. I want to see the failure. All right. So, Jeremy. Okay. Okay, so you, you send a text uh, saying, Hey, are we good? Can I buy you a beer? And uh, a thumbs up emoji. 
Um, and specifically I about like... whatever I said. So I'm like admitting that I don't even remember it. So I like the idea that you went to hit the thumbs up emoji, but you hit the one next to it, which is just like a ham. So it looks like you you said beer, and it looks like you put a hand as if you're suggesting you're gonna knock over a tray of drinks again, and that's how I'm interpreting it. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna get a real sassy uh, text back uh, saying, you, "You think you're real funny, don't you?" <laughs> well, you know, your band is middling at best. <laughs> Ooh. Hayden, is everything okay? You're making weird faces while you look at your phone. Uh, yeah, everything's fine, Ani. Don't worry about it. Why don't you? Everything's fine. Are you sure? Because you've got that face that. It's just you my know... face, Ani. <laughs> okay. Shut up, Ani. <laughs> So, all right, okay. No I'm, one gonna... Asked you, <laughs> I'm gonna go home, I guess. Uh, yeah, if uh, if anything weird, hey, Ned, if anything weird happens, call me. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ned. <laughs> Ned is man of few words, and I love it. Who needs words in a drama? <laughs> Ned sees all. My experience in bars, especially small town bars, is there's always one bartender who everyone loves, but no one knows anything about. Yep. <laughs> and then... You have like a couple of lines, and then they occasionally say something really impressive. You go, Damn. So Ned is Silent Bob. <laughs> because the 90s aren't dead. Yes. <laughs> the 90s are never dead. All right. Which <clears throat> I believe passes the turn back to me, and I am going to advance Ani's plot for cryptid hunting. Uh, who wants to be Sheriff Wakestaff? I can I... do that. I haven't played a... Oh, did you want to, Maxine? No, no, you go for it. You go for it. Do the thing. Do the thing. All right, I'm walking back to the Golden Phoenix from DB's. Let me look at the map again. Oh no, you're walking back to the Golden Phoenix from DB's. Dee <laughs> so many people walk around at night here. It's great. <laughs> oh, it's right across the street. Okay. Literally, we just found a dead body in the alleyway, and like everyone. I know. Like, it's it was fine. like whatever. Oh, well, it's because he had a heart attack. And also, my character like really wants to find that cryptid, and maybe that makes it if worse. I you make think myself... that a monster killed him. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I want to find the monster. Uh, Eighteen-year-old. Oh my god. We need to oh, find you out. Has a nice ass. ass. It's very ah. important. I'm like, okay, I'll make sure to capture that with my. It's like I wish there was like a better night vision app for the phone, but you have to like really hold still with your camera. You know, if you want to do the night sight thing. Otherwise, if you it doesn't hold still, it's blurry and you can't tell whether the aesthetics. <laughs> Because it's all a blur. Say. I don't know what the best place to have this scene is. Maybe at the lake? Okay. Um, and I think, so it's uh, Jenny and Sheriff Wagstaff and uh, uh, Sheriff, was there another sighting out here? Is that why you're here? Yeah, I mean, there's a sighting every couple of every couple of nights at least. But yeah, we had another one, and ever since that, you know, that poor fella died behind the bar, we got to take this extra serious because you know people are freaking out. Oh well, did did they get any a, a video or picture or anything concrete, or are they just saying they seen something in the woods? What do you think? Of course, there's nothing. Con concrete there's a fuzzy video or there's a fuzzy picture of what appears to be something behind a tree that is probably a deer or the person's friend who knows but of course it got tagged the cove character whatever they're calling it and 
And the, the cove now critter? everyone's yeah. thinking that they saw it again. The cove critter, yeah. Oh, I, so so there's the the pictures uh, on on uh, online. Oh yeah, you can go to Instagram, search cove critter. You'll see probably twenty oh, people sharing it. Wow. I don't even know who shared it originally. That's <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I'll have to check that out. Thank you for that. And it, it, nobody got hurt though, right? Oh no, no, everybody's fine, as far as I can tell. Well, well, that's um, that is good to know. Um, now, what are you, uh, what are you doing out here now? Oh, I just um, need to clear my head. Came out, you know, to the lake to. you know uh meditate by the water i guess oh yeah no i get that make sure to be careful you know just in case there's a bogeyman out here <clears throat> yeah um i will i will i, I grew up he here my whole life i know i know how to stay safe thank you though thank you for your concern uh, and then Jenny is going to go and, like, walk up a trail and uh, try to find evidence of to believe, in this case, of a minus one for Jock, which means I roll a five. Oh, my golly. So... Y'all get to decide what consequences I run into as a hiker I, I, on the lake. <laughs> I think I want to introduce an idea that uh, you see something and you faint. Okay. I kind of like this. Or like you get super or jenny gets kind of scared and like turns to run and has that whole like run into a branch moment <laughs> <laughs> and so is the complication here essentially that this makes jenny late for the meeting with claire yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay like, like she'll that. she'll if she runs runs into a tree, like she'll have a, a mark or something. It's like it hit me, it hit me, but like <laughs> it looks like a tree branch mark. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's a super late. There's a yeah. like Arden gets a picture of like it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I fell on the floor and everything. I'm like, oh my, OMG, where are you? Did you get a picture? Um, <laughs> I'm dead right now. I think, I think I'm dead. I think. I'm, Maybe dead. I'm at the lake. I I um. Oh shoot! I'm I'm late. I gotta go to Hot Shots. Um, we'll talk later. Uh, okay, keep me updated. <laughs> let me know. Let me know if you need backup. And I think we will uh, take our break on that. Uh, <laughs> so we'll be back in uh, five ten minutes. And uh, make sure you get up, use the bathroom, drink water, do all those things. And we'll see you in a little bit.
the ending before the movie was done. I got thick skin because I've been burned before. I got baggage that you don't know of. Learn the hard way not to trust. Too close. I'm.
Welcome back. And uh, so, it is after Jenny had a mishap by the lake. Get over. <laughs> and it's going to be late for meeting Claire at Hot Shots. It is Jolene's turn. Okay. Um. So. Who's, who's after me? Just so that I know. Uh, Bardic. What? It'll be Bardic. It'll be Jeremy. Bert, okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So. I went through. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have my phone open to the picture of, <laughs> of you know, Gunman Joe over there. Uh, and uh, I feel like I have I have my binoculars in hand and I'm going behind the store I'll throw myself under the bus what the fuck we're gonna go with my storyline um and I bump into um wait going through I think it's Carl I keep forgetting his name yeah you you named yeah. him Carl Carl. That's what, yeah. Um, so You're having an affair with this man, you don't remember his name. <laughs> Look, I'm not. Jolene is. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this straight character per persona out of the way. Um, so, I'm looking down and I was like, oh gosh, I didn't know they had a phone. And I bumpered it. Hi. Hi. Um, what are you doing behind behind the salon with your pretty self? And I just I just kind of like wilt a little bit. What's my Carl, guys? <laughs> I'll make you drag you into this with me. Uh, I can I can play Carl if nobody else wants to. Do it. Be my lover. <laughs> I want to play Dolly later, so. <laughs> okay. Um. Like my roommate, like both my best oh, friends. Oh. Uh, I wasn't expecting to run into you. I wasn't expecting to run into you, but pleasant things happen. Um, is Dolly around here? Uh, no, she's uh, at home right now. Oh, okay. I, you know, just figured maybe she had an appointment or something. I wasn't looking at the books. Um, so where are you headed to? Uh, I was actually, um, gonna head, head over to the, to BB's and, and get a drink. Oh, um... I had a question for you. Um, so there's a um, there's a band playing uh, later, um, and I did want to go with me. Maybe, possibly. No, of course you don't. No, I mean, why? Oh, That's stupid. It, Never um, mind. Nothing. Never mind. Is it Hayden's uh, band? Yeah, yeah. He's oh. been saying so much about it, and I hadn't heard nothing about it. I forgot I had an accent for a second. Oh. <laughs> You flustered the accent right out of me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, he's been talking about it for a while, and he keeps putting it off, putting it off. And so, um, so Claire and I uh, were talking and got him uh, to actually do a gig um, at Babes. So I figured, 
maybe uh, if you wanted, you don't have to go with me, but like if you were there and I was there and we were both there, we could maybe sit next to each other or something. But I mean, you could you bring, Do bring, I'll bring Dolly with you, of course, obviously, because y'all are a thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, that sounds like a good time. Yep, I am inviting both you and Dolly to come see a. So about that thing we did the other night, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean kiss you. I'm sorry. It was. It just happened. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. It was real nice. Don't get me wrong. It was real nice, real nice. Um. But I'm getting. I'm. I'm. I, it was real nice. Did you like it? Did you did you like it? <laughs> uh, so Carl like reaches out and like puts a hand on like your your wrist and yeah, it was it was nice. You don't need to say sorry about it. It was wonderful. Okay, I just didn't know if it was if it was me and, and my hand goes across over your hand. Um, I just I I'm sorry. I just. She's my best friend, and y'all have been so kind to me, and things are a little confusing, but I really like you. Um, I said it. I like you. All right, roll a show, roll, roll. Let's see if yeah. we can get some drama out of this. Yeah, so we need drama. We need drama here. <laughs> Um, I'm going to roll my shiny dice and my dark knight dice because both of those seem appropriate at this point in time. <laughs> um, so this would be plus two, I assume? Yes. For prep? Yes. Okay. S seven. Okay, guys, bring on the drama. <laughs> All right. Can I use my token to drop that to six or lower? <laughs> uh, yes, I believe that uh, is what you can do. You can offer to to give Jolene a, a token. You don't have to accept, but you can make the offer uh, to drop it down to a six. And then we we add all the complications to it. All the complications. Uh, yeah, I, I make that offer. Do you accept? Sure. Make okay. my life worse. Let's do this. All right. Make my life worse. Come on. Bring it. Bring it up. <laughs> All right. What complications do we want to add? Where Where is the scene taking place again? Uh, behind the beauty parlor. Basically, like the the beauty parlor is here. The golden things is here, and we're behind it, like. You can't. I couldn't see the grill. Gotcha. So I'm on the um, woodsy side. I don't know who, but I think a a good complication could be that like okay. someone just walks around the corner. Like maybe someone at the Golden Phoenix is going to throw something away, and they just walk around and see you guys like holding hands. Wasn't Ani going that way, or did Ani go? Volunteer. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. was, 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 <laughs> was going to say, I believe technically the player who is the least involved, um, since it's been dropped to oh. six or lower, That's and fair. I think Ani is technically the player least involved in this plot. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's like so you two are like holding hands and uh, and you're like and you're saying it was wonderful and it's like you're and uh, so he's so Carl said it was wonderful it was really nice and you two are holding hands and all of a sudden from behind you a voice goes are you well, honestly probably kiss? getting ready to go for another kiss <laughs> yeah, at this no point. yeah no <laughs> so you, a voice behind you goes are you two gonna kiss because <laughs> <laughs> my parents really don't like it when people make out back here it's like I there's like... a whole lake just go there. Though, be uh, careful of the cryptid. Oh, uh, Ani, um... Jolene. I was inviting, um, 
I was inviting Carl and he, and Dolly to come see uh, the show. Did you, there's a show, did you know there's a show, there's a show happening. Yeah, um, were you inviting him with your words? Yep, <laughs> and with, I, I invited Dolly, right? Right, Carl, I invited Dolly along too. We, we <clears> were both, yes, we're all gonna meet yes, up. Yes, you did. At Babes, all gonna meet up at Babes. Um, I was actually on my way to, um, to the Golden Phoenix right now. Do you, you want to go to Golden Phoenix? See, I'm inviting you to a place too. I'm inviting I live you there. To Thank the you. <laughs> I have a package that I'm supposed to bring to the Golden Phoenix. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Time. You have a package? Yeah, I, uh, the, the sheriff's deputy, the sheriff gave it to the deputy and the deputy came to the salon and then he got a salon did he looks real nice by the way he got that nice little sideburns cut finally um but then he left and then i volunteered to bring it but then i had the sticky note that had the address uh next to my salon and next to my my uh sink and then when i when i finished with my sink it was cleaning it and it washed all off and i couldn't tell whether it was for here or for there or for uh up at I couldn't tell where it was going. I was all flustered for some reason. Couldn't never tell why. But uh, and then I uh came back here, and that's when I bu I bumped into uh Carl, and we were going to uh go to the thing together uh with his wife, with his with his lovely wife, my best friend. Um and <laughs> and yep, and now I am going to the Golden Phoenix with you because absolutely nothing happened and there's nothing wrong here i mean if you're busy i can just take that package i i could you know i see you're busy so uh, i can just no, take that no, package. i was just um i'm leaving yeah. i'm gonna go get a, a beer over because if and it I'm... is because if it is what i think it is that it's night vision binoculars and i was gonna use it to like you know spy on the oh, code critter probably, but they... Yeah, I can always test not, them out vision. now and see how they I didn't know if they were not vision. You can hide here. here. The, I'm assuming here in they're the yours. I'll just let them know so that zoom in that on delivered shenanigans things. in the back oh, alley. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no shenanigans here. This is Thank a you. completely platonic invite to somebody too. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you. I'll see you at the. I'll, is it? Is it all ages? I don't. know. Okay, I'll, I'll ask Hayden. I'll see you. Thanks for the binoculars. You're welcome. Nothing happened. <laughs> I say to myself, she is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I fall look after them with, like, the binoculars. <laughs> Couple minutes later, Carl walks into the bar. He's like, Hayden, I'm going to need bourbon. <laughs> I got you. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> can James I can is... I roll a fuck me roll to see how bad I got fucked? <laughs> All right, Jimmy. <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, oh gosh. Um, I I was so engrossed in everything that was going on. I haven't thought about anything. Um. Um, oh, my, sorry, I'm totally distracted by all of that, sorry. Um, oh gosh, what scene would I like to work on? So do you want to advance your you own know plot, or...? Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've not paid any attention to my own plot, so I should probably do that at some point. Um, yeah, okay. So, um... I think Jeremy has decided his, his new best friend in the whole world is this poor girl, Emma, who works behind the, the counter at the, <laughs> the shooting range and it's just Ooh, there's another romance all of his drama. Oh, don't just look at me <laughs> um uh also i think it's because jeremy doesn't want to go to either of the bars one because hayden works there which 
not giving any time of day to that. And the other, because I am actively avoiding someone who always seems to be there. Uh, so Jeremy will just be there chatting. With, you know, Emma could have left. Emma could have put up her back in five minutes and put the shooting target up. And Jeremy's just going to keep talking to her. Because <laughs> Jeremy's just got a lot of feelings. He, he needs to she's get like, out. She's like, uh-huh. And she's like scrolling through her phone. Uh-huh. Cool. Yeah. And, you know, it's just the it's just the darnest little thing. Because, you know, I, I didn't even originally intend to do anything like that. But, you know, poor Miss Hasselbeck, you know, everything just went horribly wrong. And, it, oof. you know, and the worst part is she now is hanging out at Pickles every night. So I can't even sneak in there no more. But after all the nonsense with Hayden, I can't go to, to Babes. So where am I supposed to go? It's like this is the only place left in all of this town, which uh, the name of is uh, Stone Something Co. Um, Why would you do Mrs. Hasselbach? You know, oh, well, you know, it's just it's just a it's just a, a little a, 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 a little thing where um, you know I'm 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 out of um, <clears throat> might have accidentally told her about her husband cheating on her. But uh, not not directly, like no, I didn't tell her. I was just gabbing with the the other teachers uh, about uh, the the mm -hmm, yep, and it was a whole big thing. And, and uh, isn't he like eighty? She, she she heard. Uh, he he rightly is. He he rightly is, and uh, you know, uh, apparently Viagra does wonders for people. Who oh, TMI? Uh, who 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 is he cheating? on her with. That's horrible, oh, by the way. Hell. I love Mrs. Hasselback when she was my science teacher. Yeah, well, uh, everybody loves Mrs. Hasselback. She's just so kind and sweet. And, you know, she, she just got that Except look. her husband, apparently. Um, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Emma, I think you're my new bestest friend. <laughs> oh, yay. Unless you, uh, um, sorry, uh, didn't want to cause an, uh, an imposition there. Yeah. Um, you're fine. But, are you drunk? But, uh, you're not drunk, yeah. are you? You shouldn't be here if you're drunk. Though I guess as long as you're not stepping back onto the range. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I, 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 I've, I've not had a single drop of alcohol for, uh, okay. I, I don't know. Uh, what year was 1999? What? <laughs> that was 1999. Is that one of those sober questions that they ask, that Sheriff Wagstaff asks, if you like, you know? Oh, uh, I'm just uh, in a perpetual state of utter confusion, so I have lost all track of time as a concept. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm just goofing you. You know, it's, it's like a wacky thing. Uh, you, you had to be there. You, you had to be there. Did you, you hear know? Justin Timberlake about MySpace? What's a MySpace? What? Oh, I thought that would be like a 1999 reference that you would get. My bad. Uh, I got a friend still. Okay. Um, have you heard of Justin Timberlake? You've heard of him, right? Um, I think he was in that really terrible boy band. Uh, what was <gasps> it called? Uh, in in vogue in indistinct. Indistinct oh in. Well, he does. <laughs> Insane clown posse. Uh, well, he does country music now, so. Well, good for him. Sort of, yeah. I mean, country's not really my style. Uh, no, 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 no. Your style is the 90s. Well, but yeah, not like the was... fun 90s. <laughs> Miss Emma, uh, oh, I could, look, I could talk your ear off if you would let me. Um. But, oh, but. <laughs> I don't know how I created this poor human being. <laughs> I just feel bad for Jeremy's existence. There's always one in a small town. There's always one. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, look, there's somebody else who's here. It's, you know, and let's say Claire shows up for her thing. Yeah. <laughs> Does, does Claire know Jeremy? I mean, Claire is a small like, town. Oh, hi! Are you, are you new? Yeah. Oh, hi! So, uh, yeah, okay. Well, yeah. <clears throat> is, is, that, 
Is that Claire Sheffield? Right. Does anybody want to play her, or should I'll, I? I'll jump in as Claire. Okay. Do the thing. Oh, hey, Claire! This is Jeremy. I don't know if you two know each other, but I need to go in the back, so. Uh, yeah. Hey, Jeremy. I remember you vaguely. It's been a while. Claire, we sat next to each other for two whole years in homeroom. So, uh, I yeah. think you and I both know that we were incredibly good friends. One time, you asked me how my day was going, and I remember that. Uh, right, yeah, I, I do remember that. Sorry, I've been away for a while. Um, just uh, got back into town and... Uh, I heard you went to Metropolis. You know, I, I moved away as well. I moved away and I was gonna, I was gonna oh, make it real big. You, you but I oh, didn't. and now I'm here. Yeah, I, I, I was um, My I was gonna away. do the same thing. I was, everything was gonna be amazing. Didn't really work out, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about uh. Leaving again, got maybe some other opportunities, but uh, Jolene's kind of uh, really been going pretty hard on getting me to stay. Claire, or not, Jenny too. Um, Such a decent person. Yeah, I just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, so uh, what have you been up to? Do you ever keep in much contact with, with Jenny? I remember you two were real close to each other at one time. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not not as much um, when I was in Metropolis, but you know, we've been reconnecting a little bit when we since we got back. <laughs> it is the wildest thing. You know, they still haven't fully got your name off the bridge, but she put up there. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, look I'm... real close. You can, it, it says Jane, but we all know it says Jenny. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if any of the kids remember why that's up there. If they just, well, you know, I, I, do, I never... do you do you do you even remember why she did it? I, um, I think somebody um, dared her to do it, but I don't remember. I mean, you know, I always assumed you know one of those vicious rumors, which you know. We always put a lot of stock in vicious rumors here. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I thought it was because she had, you know, a little, she was holding a sweet place for you in her heart. Oh. That's oh. what I always thought. Um, that. Uh, huh. Yeah, I, I'm, I thought she told me that somebody dared to do it, but you know, that would make a lot more sense in a weird way. Wow. You know, I, 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 I could be entirely incorrect. I could be, you know, that could just be my perception. It could just be me uh, hoping uh, Any, anyways, that, you know, the, the um, people out there find their own little slice of happiness in any way, way shape or form you know so so what <clears throat> what have you been up to you seem to um, be well uh recently I, I got into um sorry what do we do here uh shooting yeah <laughs> uh, i recently got into shooting stuff oh uh well that's cool you, did you just take the basic training course or you you uh actually pretty good at this. I took a picture and put it on the internet. <laughs> Emma comes out from the back with like a box of things to restock the counter and she's like, sure did. I'm sorry, I missed that. <laughs> um Emma comes out from behind, from the back room with like a crate of things to restock the front counter, and she's like, "Sure did." Oh well, that's good. I, it's been a few years since I've actually been to one of these, uh, places, but I used to be a crack shop myself. 
uh, you know, I'm, I, I don't think I could quite uh, turn around, uh, you know, uh, and, and offer you any tips or assistance. But, you know, if you want to shoot, I'll have with Sil Walsh and, you know, give you a little good, ah. good holler and a well, cheer. I'm actually waiting for Jenny, and I, I think she's a little late, but, yeah, it's, it is good to catch up. What are you doing these days? You know, uh, I'm I'm teaching at the high school. Uh, oh, you know. that's mm-hmm. interesting. What do you teach? Uh, I teach the wonderful art of theater, uh, theater to them loving children who don't make me regret many of my life choices on a daily basis. Oh, yeah, I heard that the uh, Kessington family donated money for an auditorium. Uh, it's yep, yep. really weird since it takes like the whole school to to like get enough people for a play, but like that's cool. Yeah, uh, it, oh, you know, uh, it, it it is um, it is certainly challenging, but uh, uh, according to what I wrote in the school newspaper, it is a uh, wonderful display of community spirit, and that's that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is Mister um is Mrs. Hasselback still working up there? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yep, she is. She's um, she's she, she's doing real good. She got promoted to vice principal. Yeah, she is my boss, technically. Is oh. she doing real good though? Well, uh, no, she's she's not doing so great because her husband's having an affair, uh, which is always fun. Uh, but you know, it's, it's oh. Well, how Them girls you... at the salon, you never know what they're getting up to. So <laughs> they're, they're, it's all just a, a, a cluster cluck uh, of nonsense. Well, um, that is, how did, did she, does she know? Did she learn about this? Um, it, it, you know, she, she must have heard it from someone. Definitely not me. Shooting off of my mouth. Uh well, you know, if it were, you know, somebody like you that I would give them the advice that maybe they should ask her to coffee and, uh, you know, try to apologize. You know what? I might, I might rather just go and do that. I know where she's spending her nights now that she ain't got a husband to go home to. <laughs> You know what? I might just rightly go and uh, do that. Uh, I'll, I'll go up to her and I'll apologize and you know I'll I'll make reparations and all that stuff. <laughs> Maybe you could sing her a song. Ooh, you could ju- you should do something dramatic, and then you could put it on socials. Yeah, you know, I don't really know how to do. That. You know what? I'll ask Ani. She, she's real smart. <laughs> He's the only one in that class who didn't say I wasted my life. Yeah, well, she's you know pretty focused on finding that cryptid and making a name for herself. So I think she's practicing for like having a show, like one of those shows on Discovery at late night. People. Are so she still... pays attention in your class. People are still talking about that thing. What do they call it now? The Cove Critter. Yeah, I only just learned about this today. Huh. Wait, you don't remember? Oh. Huh. But did, did something happen when we were at school? Did I, did I not see it? <laughs> oh, uh. I did. There was a, uh, a whole rumor. A couple kids went missing on the lake. They found them, but... And it never, you never quite killed the gossip that it was the a cove cryptid or crove critter that uh, got them is lost why, in the woods or something. Is that why you're back in town, Claire, to investigate that? I heard you're like a big time journalist up in Metropolis now. I no, well, no, um, I tried the journalist thing. It didn't. <laughs> It didn't work out, uh, at least in Metropolis. But no, I'm I'm not here to, and not here to do that. It, you know, it turns out, you know, in Metropolis, some people have better lines to better headlines, and 
I wasn't one of them, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I can imagine it must be real difficult because there's always someone and big things going on, and if you're not there on the scene, you're going to miss out. But, you know, I think uh, Little Miss Anna here is on the right track. You know, I heard that um, one of them cryptids, uh, the, the Mothmans, they, they got a statue built for him, and that's like a, a big whole thing on the internet. So maybe you should follow that. You know, huh. Maybe we could get a statue of a cold critter in town. Maybe the cold critters got a really nice buttocks, or maybe like got some really nice like uh, pecs oh, or something. Oh, that you know, one statue! Of those, I one have one of those little, uh, you know, one of those wonderful little tourist traps. Well, that's... We, ooh, maybe we could like start putting on little shows for people. Maybe I could. You could really put the town on the map. I think you could, Miss Claire. I think you coming back to town is a sign. Turn the cove critter into our very own Loch Ness monster. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I certainly think it is a sign, and not a terrifying sign of the current state of society and where many people in their late twenties to early forties have to return home due to economic struggles. Well, I never left. This is my daddy's range though, so Well, um, good for you. And I'm gonna inherit it. You know, as long as Buck doesn't come back from Metropolis with his, like, fancy business school ideas or whatever. <clears throat> but, you know, that's just my, that's just my life. All right. Your lives are so much more interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to take your advice there, uh, Miss Claire, so I'll thank you very kindly. And I am going to go and make some apologies. Uh, so with that, I hope you have a wonderful time of night. Um, if Jenny says... And I said, I did not tell her, but I thought she had a little thing for you because I do not want to start making a reputation for myself when I start going around exposing people's romantic interests and inclinations behind their backs because you get a tag like that and it never leaves you. All right. All right. Well, you have fun and good luck um, finding Mrs. Hasselbeck and apologizing to her. Um, do we want to make a yeah. roll for you finding <laughs> Mrs. Hasselback there? And I oh. don't, that might be. Um, I have absolutely zero clue what that could be. I think that'd be a social role to know where somebody yeah. hangs out. I have no idea what just happened. Um, <laughs> it, something yeah. happened. Uh, okay. So. If I am rolling with prep, uh, that is a six on the die, so plus two, eight. Okay. That, uh... I want to spend a token to raise that to a ten. I want to give Jeremy a win. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, this okay. He needs a win. He needs a win in his life. <laughs> What have I created? You created a character that we all... He needs this. Yep. I all don't right. want to feel, feel proud of yourself. All right. Uh, tell us where you where you find Mrs. Hasselbeck. Well, uh, according to my plot, I know that she... I keep running into her at Pickles, a bar of local cuisine. So uh, I will make my, my good way over there to find... And uh, try and apologize to this poor woman, which I can't imagine is going to go very well. Okay. Uh, and before we do that scene, it is now Hayden's turn. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's really easy to get caught up in all the other plots. Yeah. Going on and then go, oh, wait, it's my turn. Uh... I can you do a scene that like touches on two different plots if they align or yeah I don't see why not does that uh, give him two tokens <laughs> I would assume gonna logically that's other people over, the, so give the him all end the game isn't it get right, all the yeah. plots yeah. intertwined uh, yeah because my thought was that I was gonna go try to find Jeremy and like 
maybe I, I'm peeking out the door or something, and I see you go into Pickles Bar to, to go talk to Mrs. Hasselbeck, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go get this sorted out. And okay. so I yeah. go to the bar as well. And, and, and you can help out with a... Okay, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Who wants to play Mrs. Hasselbeck in this scene? Okay. I, uh, I was actually totally going to play Mrs. Hasselbeck if she came up, but... Uh, she's in my scenes, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Does the old lady? I got this, guys. Do we want to uh, introduce another secondary character for Pickle, the owner of the the bar? So... It have to be you yeah. or Doreen playing. I'll I'll play Pickle. Pickle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll play Pickle. Um. So, I think. Jeremy walks in and Jeremy uh, uh, Good evening there Pickles um, it, What is he just... doing here? I don't like him. What's he doing here? He's oh, ripping my oh, he's, he's, not not miss... oh. he's allowed to be here as long as he don't be part of spilling any more drinks I am in the process of talking to the sheriff about a restraining order I, You don't understand. I do not want to be anywhere near this man and then Hayden walks in and is like, hey, hey, Jeremy, Jeremy, can we talk for a little bit? Oh. No fighting, oh, you two. Uh, I, oh, uh, I, 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 don't I don't fight. I don't fight. I am a lady. I don't fight. I was, well, I was talking if I don't there, feel like a rattlesnake talking to a couple of mongooses, <laughs> <laughs> is that an idiom? Did I just make an idiom? Is that a real thing? Oh, I'll make you it a thing. You country uh, now. You did a countryism, is what you did. <laughs> Uh, well, Miss uh, Hackleback, how's it how's it going? Well, I'm quite well. And you, how are you and your family, sir? Oh, I'm sure my family's doing fine. I haven't talked to them in a while, but I'm doing all right. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I hope this ruffian is not messing up your night as he is mine. Oh no! Gosh, no. Uh, I, I was actually coming here to. Uh, uh Jeremy, do you have a sec? Um. Well, uh, yes, but also no, because uh, see, I was coming in here to try and smooth things out with the, the lovely uh, Mrs. Hasselbeck. Uh, were you? Were certainly... you now? Well, I didn't. I didn't hear an apology at all when you came in. I'm so sorry. Just, you tell me. You you tell me. Do make do make up. Do make up. I'd like to hear this myself. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna keep my 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 tongue bit from. The, the the thoughts that went through my mind but were most uh not for polite company uh mrs hasselbeck uh, you're not <clears> making <throat> you're not starting off in a good start sir oh wait a minute jeremy was, is this that thing about her husband jeremy um yes Look at what you've done to me it is all over town now i am a distraught person i mrs. am Hassel distraught i tell you mrs hasselbeck huh? if you would please please let, let me just get a couple i'll say a couple words uh, and then uh, you you don't even have to listen to them. You you can you can be humming you know one of them country songs in your head. You know uh, I can't remember her name. You know the one with the blonde hair and the the big old thing is you know one of her songs. I will not be here much longer if you keep patronizing me. I'm I'm uh, I'm right for the song, Mrs. Hasselbeck. Um, so basically, all I want to say is I'm sorry that I was blabbing my mouth about your business, but you know I was merely stating what I saw. And you know, and you, you see a thing and you say a thing, and then you know you, you you're trying to make sure that the other people in the room may even remember your gosh darn name, uh, and so you, I'm, I'm real sorry. It is not fair or right that people from all over town are knowing what's going on between a married man and uh, that girl from the salon. It, it is most uncouth and not remotely appropriate for anybody to be saying anything or nothing about it. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Hasselbeck. I am truly, deeply sorry. Wait, girl from the salon? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I am a, a woman of, of dignity and honor, and my students know this, and so I will accept your apology, but as for forgiving you, that might take some time. Uh, you, you, you hurt me. Is... You hurt my soul and my, my, my reputation. Do you know what the students, the students call me now? 
Is that a rhetorical question? Or do you, do you, do you want it to is rhetorical. Go I don't want to oh, say okay. it. I cannot say it in proper company. Cannot uh, say yes, it in you, company. Uh, yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I'm sorry, do you mean Jolene? From the salon? I don't know. Uh, no, I was, I was meaning the other. Who's Jolene sleeping with? <laughs> I, I don't know anybody. I do need to know this now, honey, honey, to tell me what's going on. I, need I don't to know. know I, didn't hear, I, I don't know what which girl from the salon are you talking about? Yeah, you know, come on, go around, same with married man. You know, although you know, not, not, you know, I'm, I'm saying off, Miss Hasback. See, I'm keeping my mouth shut, just like I said I would. Oh no, honey, I need to know all about this, honey. You can tell me what's going on here. I, I don't know nothing about this one. Uh, hey, what, what, what do you know about Jolene? No, any. I, I'm very confused right now. Join the club, buddy. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. I will have to look into this. I have a. I have an appointment later on in the in the evening. I have an appointment. I will have to. I will have to check on this. I cannot. Oh, I cannot believe people would be going around town doing this to people. All right. To clarify, I don't think that Jolene's doing anything. I thought that's who you were talking about, Jeremy. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I was not. All right, but you know, so Ms. I guess don't maybe all them sprint. rules about salon girls is true. No, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just saying words. Quite uh, frankly, it's nice to have someone to talk to. Don't know what you're talking oh, about, but I must. I thank you for your apology. I will think about forgiving you. I don't know what. I have an appointment to go to. Right. And you know what? <laughs> Uh, what, whilst I'm on a roll here, uh, have have a have a wonderful evening, Miss Hasselbeck. Uh, uh, Bye, Miss Hasselbeck. And I also uh, I also feel I owe you an apology, uh, saying that um, unjust and quite frankly untruthful thing that I said to you uh, via a, a textual communication. Uh, it was not fair, nor was it right. Your band is delightful. It is uh, a nostalgic throwback to the days of the uh, early nineties. Uh, and you remind me of someone who is nothing like Kurt Cobain, but could be in the right lighting. Well, that is a very nice thing to say, Jeremy. And to be honest, I always knew you liked our music. But no, I I'm the one who should be apologizing. What? Uh, Jeremy, if I'm being honest, I got a little carried away. I have no idea what we even talked about last night. But I heard from Ani that... I spilled a bunch of beer on both y'all and that we got into a fight about something and I'm real sorry about that but I just straight up don't remember what it was it, uh, it's, it's alright we, we can hash it out we're perfectly civilized gentlemen but um, I, I was trying to have a conversation with Miss Ani uh, I was uh, I bumped into her first of all I was, like, I was asking what she was doing out on a school night uh, you know all that and, in a bar uh, well you know it's also a restaurant so she explained that it made sense uh, but, you know, uh, a song came on Jukebox, and I rolled my eyes at it because I was rightfully upset that uh, somebody uh, turned around and started going, oh, yeah, I love this song from that movie Shrek uh, about being accidentally in love. And I, I just could not stand that that is the only reason people know the, the, the Counting Crows. The Counting Crows were a delightful and, quite frankly, genre warping cultural statement of uh, early to mid 90s and people are just always associating them with that dang movie about uh you know green man and then you came in and you said well i really like that movie and i was like i don't care if you like that movie the counting crows deserve more respect now hold on uh, just a second counting crows did a song in shrek are you sure you don't mean uh uh smash mouth no, no, no. It, that, that was Shrek 1. In Shrek 2, the song Accidentally in Love. Uh, oh, which, I, uh, I didn't like any of the songs from that movie. No, uh, how'd it go? You know, that one. Um, that's so you say it was a problem, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one. And I, 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 I just, I, I, I got a real, like, stick in my throat. It's like, look, people are allowed to laugh what they like, and that is fine by me. But if you do not even have an inclination to educate yourself on cultural icons like Adam Duritz, 
Well, I feel you are doing yourself a great disservice. And, you know. Who's Adam Duritz? Jeremy, I, I, I can't do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like. Well, it sounds like we're both being ridiculous, but it sounds like I was being ridiculous, so I am sorry, Jeremy. I did not mean to cause any strife between us, and I certainly didn't mean to get Ani in trouble with her mom. Speaking of which, that's the next stop I gotta make. I gotta go grab some dinner. Oh, are we good? Oh, uh, we're, we're more than good. In fact, if you are okay with it, is, is the show of goodwill and all around forgiveness, I would happily join you for dinner and pay you. Well, Jeremy, I would like to think that I'm capable of being the bigger person and accepting that offer. What a wonderful thing. And you know what? You can tell me all about your your upcoming gig I've heard so much about already. You know, I, I hear there's even going to be someone working the door. Oh, yep, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go towards the, the Golden Phoenix. Uh... <laughs> Alright, and that means it's Ani's turn. Um, I actually want to roll back to the um to Hot Shots and do and advance Jenny's plot. Okay. So okay. I will take a token. <laughs> and I will as Emma, I will say, uh we close in fifteen minutes. To Claire, who is there? Okay, uh, but then I can oh. take over for Claire <laughs> and be waiting outside when Jenny finally shows up. Oh, it's um just fifteen minutes. Uh, yeah, it's a Thursday. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for letting me know. I mean, did you want to shoot, or were you waiting for somebody? I, I was uh, waiting for, for Jenny, actually. Oh, um, well. Uh, I, I, I'll just um, wait outside. I'm sure she's on her way. Um, okay. Thanks, though. You're welcome. Have a good one. You know, come in where our, our hours are from, blah, 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 blah. So, see you later. Yeah, uh, it was uh, nice uh, meeting you. And uh, Claire will step outside. I was four years behind you in college, uh, in high school. Okay, bye. Yeah, I don't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> Claire walks outside. <laughs> Uh, and then I imagine Jenny pulls up in her truck a couple minutes later. And we can swap. I can play Claire now if you want. <laughs> yeah, that works. It's like, hey, are you okay? Oh. You're pretty late. So I was just wondering yeah, if something sorry, happened. Yeah, sorry. Um, They're closing, so. I am so sorry. I um seen a picture on... Twitter, and I went down to the lake to talk to the sheriff real quick. Um, Did something happen? But so somebody somebody got a picture. Well, I thought they got a picture of the cove critter, and I went down there, what? and I walked around, and I think I might have seen it, but what? I. Hey, what's that on your remember. forehead? Are you okay? I I think it hit me, or I might have run into a tree branch. I don't remember. Um. But uh, that's that's why I'm late. I am so sorry. Uh, oh. oh, did you have you? Do you have a concussion? It's like, were you? Are you okay? I think I'm okay. I don't feel okay. dizzy or anything. But okay. I, I, do I have a bruise? Uh, it, there's a mark. Oh. There's a mark. It's okay. It, I'm, mean, I'm it's so like... sorry. I was late. I just. No, it happens. It's fine. Did you want to go? Grab a drink or something, and you know. Oh, so um, why did you ask me here? Because oh, I mean, I've got um, a lot of. Well, because I, I wanted to talk to you about um, you know, you um, what, your plans to leave and whether or not you would stay. Yeah, well, you know, Jolene got me a job, so 
Uh, and you know, I'm gonna cover. I, I guess I'm gonna cover Hayden's gig tomorrow. And I mean, if there's, it's like I was talking with Jeremy earlier about like the cryptid. So I don't know. Maybe there's like stuff for me to cover here in town at least oh, for a little would, while. That'd be great. I'd, um... But I don't know. It's like I don't. I don't know if I want to get stuck here again. I look. I I like uh, I like Shady Rock Cove better when you're here, personally. Why didn't you ever go? You know, we talked a lot about it in high school. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um. Like I asked you to come visit me on the weekends in Metropolis, and you never came. Yeah, the, but I didn't actually go to college. I. No, you don't. You don't like, need to go to college to enjoy the city for a weekend. The, the like I just I felt weird going. Just being here. Uh, you know, and not having gotten out when I had the chance. Like, I had the chance, and I don't know why I didn't take it, and then it just felt really weird to go and see you following through when I didn't. And I really wish I had, but I can't change that now, but... Like, it wasn't because you didn't want to see me, right? Because I thought it was me. I thought that you just didn't want to hang out with me anymore. It, it was It was definitely not you. I definitely wanted to spend more time with you. It just... Anyways, you wanted to go get a drink? Yeah, let's... Uh, do we want to take your Jeep or do we want to walk? Uh, oh, we can walk. Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay, cool. I slip my arm through yours. So <laughs> tell me all the gossip. What's been going on since I left? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> Jenny is bright red as they walk down the street. And oh, um, I, heard, I heard there's some drama with Mrs. Hasselback. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh. Everybody loves her. <laughs> um. Yeah, um, Mrs. Hasselback. Um, her husband, right? Something about that. Yeah, it's so, all like Jeremy was up in Hot Shots earlier talking about how he like spilled the beans on you know on Mrs. Hasselback. It's like he's this town. It's like he's Shady Rock Cove's uh, very own uh, Lady Whistledown. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it's like maybe we could do a gossip column. No, I think that would be a bad idea. Uh, I mean, it would be interesting. Um, so, so about that. Uh, look, you can't ever let Jeremy know. Um, he might. We don't want him spilling the beans or Mrs. Hasselback know either. But that might be my fault how is it your fault I might have told her husband that he should do what makes him happy I didn't actually know that he was talking about cheating on her with Sam from the salon but in in my <laughs> but it I it might be my fault well I mean just because you tell somebody to do what makes them happy and then they go and do something like illegal or immoral it doesn't make it your fault because yeah. you know I definitely encouraged him and I think we know how people in this town are gonna take that especially Mrs. Hasselbeck's probably not gonna Anyways, you know, she's probably not going to be very happy about that. Right, but she's so nice, though. I'm sure she won't blame you. 
why would she blame you it's like all you said was to like follow his bliss or whatever it's not that you know it's i'm pretty sure you didn't know that his bliss would involve sticking his tongue down sam the salon girl's throat yeah right um i she was pretty mad at jeremy for spilling the beans i just you know I do I mean, remember some people being angry about similar situations when we were teenagers, you know. Well, yeah. It's like shooting the messenger is a cliche for a reason. True, true. I just... It... You know. I do feel like, you know, if I hadn't encouraged him, he might not have done it. He was, um... He was pretty down that night, um... About, you know, how he felt... That he shouldn't do it. And I probably could have listened better and told him that it was a bad idea to f follow through. But I didn't and told him to do it. <sighs> yeah, you know, like it's, that he's not the... By the way, her husband's not the only one. I think Carl... I've, I honestly think that Carl's been up... <laughs> to something too he's been hanging around the beauty parlor a lot more get out yeah usually oh when he's usually he goes you know a hardware store or something while dolly's in there but he's been spending a lot more time over there at the beauty parlor but who could be who could he be hanging out with well, you know what? I just got a job there, and I can find out all the gossip and find out and let you know. But I probably shouldn't let Jeremy know because he'll probably do like something terrible and like put it on Instagram or something. <laughs> he, yeah, he probably would. Well, actually, I don't know about Instagram because I don't think he knows how to use Instagram. Oh yeah, no, because I got a friend request from him, like. That's weird. Yeah, let me show you the picture. That's a picture of him, like, posing in front of the Target, and, like, underneath, like, huh. it's, like, Hayden's in with a proud face. Who would have known that he knows how to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he actually does, not from the conversation I overheard between him and Emma at the counter, so. Oh, that sounds like gossip. Mm. So where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Pickles? Or oh, I don't go to Pickles PBs, anymore. Or... Um... Okay. Long story, but uh, BB's is, is good. Okay, or we could go to the Golden Phoenix if you're hungry. Yeah, actually, I am hungry. That would that sounds great. Okay. Yeah. They have, like, tables and stuff now, so it's not just, like, a carryout window. Yeah, yeah, no, I... It's, it's actually um pretty nice in there now. They, it helps to be the only place that doesn't sell the same food. I yeah. know that <laughs> BB's and the Roadside and Pickles all try to tell you that they have different cuisine, but you can only make a burger so many different ways. Yeah, though Pickles at least has us fried pickles. Those are really Th good. They are really good. Those are really good. Yeah. So we head over to the Golden Phoenix, and do we run into Jeremy and Hayden outside, or...? I feel like we honestly all could find ourselves here for some reason or another because that's where I was going with. Oh, oh, that's, oh right. that's right. Yeah, that's uh, where I was going okay. with Ani. So I think. So we, Ani as... and I can be inside. Jeremy and um, Harper can be outside coming in. And this could be the, the climax of whole oh, shit. I think, you know, <laughs> we're running out of time. We're actually getting down on time here. So I think that is a good idea to yeah. just do one final yeah. scene with everybody. That's really good timing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it was <laughs> so good. <Hey>. Serendipity. <laughs> All right. So well, this this is Let's clearly go. the next CW show, right? <laughs> oh, yes. He's going to slip on like, right after Flash. Like... I'll, be, I, I'll be honest. As a CW trash aficionado... Yes, I would watch this 100%. I, so would I. Yeah. This is so bad. It's, it's like a train wreck. You just can't look away. And as established, this is DC canon. Like, <laughs> Shady, Shady Rock is in the DCU same state now. as Metropolis. Hey! Yeah. 
Jolene is part of the DC. <laughs> we have entered the Speed Force. Maybe we right. should have invited Dolly Parton on Twitter to come watch. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that means uh, Jenny and Claire walk up, and arm in arm, and Hayden and <laughs> Jeremy would, I assume, see them walking up as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Jenny, hey, Claire, how's it going? Hey, hey, did you? Oh, we're gonna we're grab some dinner. You want to join us? Oh, well, we were just gonna grab dinner. Do you, do you want to join us? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I uh, yeah. If you're okay Sounds with good. that, like Claire. A, sounds like a plan. Cool. And we are is, at a table, so join up. No. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and is that is that Jolene over there? Just talking. Oh, you know what? I think that rightly is. I I you know, I'll find Jolene what? walking right on in there. Jolene might know what you were talking about earlier, Jeremy. You said someone down at the uh, salon was getting into a little bit of business. I bet Jolene would know what's going on. Ooh. Going on, reckon she might. Just saying. That's <laughs> definitely a conversation I think Jolene would love to have. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get a table for five. <laughs> hey, Jolene. Come join us for dinner. Are you having dinner here, too? Are you playing Claire right now? I'm playing Claire right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're the three people are eating right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm playing Clara. Hey, Jolene, oh. you want to join us for dinner? It's a, like, um, I mean, we already have a table. Jenny you can just pull up a, you can pull up a table if you want. Who's, oh, who's we? Who's we? Oh, it, you, Ari and I, or Ani and I are at a table, right? Oh, <laughs> no, Ani is not at a table. No, oh, Ani okay. works there. <laughs> Never mind Ani, will be your, Ani will be your sarcastic waitress tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, sure. I, sure. My food hadn't come yet, so I'm sure they can switch over a table. It's probably not that hard. Sure. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let go of Claire now, and I'm going to be Ani. And I'm like, yeah, okay, guys, you can just take that, take the round table over there. Please. No trouble at all. No, I have never come no. here with enough people to get that nice table before. This is a, a real big day for me. Oh, Jeremy. Yep. No <laughs> trouble to be had here, Ani. Absolutely none. Here are the menus. Uh-huh. Get you all some green tea, unless you wanted a Coke. Take a sweet tea, please. Real sweet. Yeah, I'll take a Coke. Make it a Sprite, because apparently we call all soda Coke in the South. Yep. <laughs> I was about to ask what kind of Coke you want. <laughs> this is only something I know about uh, yep. because of the internet. I'll take a Coke, a Sprite. Yeah, I'll take it. What kind of Coke? <laughs> all right, so I got a sweet tea and a Sprite. Um, what do y'all want? Uh, uh, it's like weirdly that. when she's like a waitress, it's like her southern, it's all of a sudden she has a southern accent. I mean, that's how you fit in with apparently the rest of her. But it's like whenever you talk to her on the street, she just has like a regular or like <laughs> she does not have the southern accent. It's only when she's like working in the restaurant. Can I get you something, Mr. Arkwright? Mr. Uh, Arkwright? Uh, yes. Uh, can, can I get myself a glass of water with a little slice of lemon in? Because I'm feeling thankful. Oh shit, Jeremy, okay. calm down. Oh, Actually, you know what? Water. Can I also get a Long Island iced tea, Ani? Uh, we don't have a bar here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many bars in town, <laughs> mister. <laughs> get it in first. Right. Brought Sweet over. Tea. What about you, Jenny? What can I get you? Oh, by the way. What about you, Jenny? What can I get you? Oh, by the way, I got the night vision goggles. Uh, binoculars. Um, uh, cool. Um, uh, green tea's fine for me. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll be back with your drinks, and, uh, I'll have your food come over here. (laughs) Well, see, it's on my mind, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm dying to find out. Jolene, apparently, there's... (laughs) There's been quite a, um, you know, a tantalizing tale of twists and turns going on with some of you oh. girls down in the beauty parlor. Uh, uh, most, uh, mostly about indiscretions with uh, a certain gentleman. Oh, and I was oh wondering my. if you didn't know anything about it. Oh my! I, um, I, where, where on earth would you have heard a tale such as that being spun? Uh, so I was telling 
everybody about um, Mrs. Hasselbeck's husband who was cheating on her. And uh, then oh. Mom went to apologize to her for spreading uh, that. Well, it, it's not a rumor if it's true, is it? Uh, so I apologize and we hashed that out. But then it came a lot that there was another person at the salon also having a dalliance with a married man. Uh, you know, so oh. it's only like four of you. Oh my. So, how many girls work in the salon nowadays? Oh my, there's, uh, there's three, four of us now. Four of us now. Four so, of us now. Myself. So I was just wondering. And then there's uh, Sam. And then there's our, our boss. Um, and then and then now now Claire works here. Uh, yeah, I just got here. I'm not having any affairs with any married men. Thank oh, you. Yeah, no, 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 no. So is your boss having an affair then, Jolene? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe I I, I could uh I could look into it tomorrow when I get to work. But I I don't know nothing about that. No. I'm single, Jenny. Why do you ask? <laughs> Uh, oh. <laughs> That's clear. I'm single, Jenny. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, <clears throat> <My brow. laughs> ah, no reason. Oh, wait. Were you asking me or are you asking Jolene? Oh, I, I, I meant to ask Jolene, but um. Oh, my bad. No. <clears throat> <laughs> are you seeing will... anyone? Jeremy will lean over no? to. Uh... <clears throat> <laughs> I had a suspicion that back in high school, uh, Jenny had a thing for, 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 for Claire, but now I think Claire might have a thing for Jenny. But I just realized we're sitting at the same table and they could probably hear everything I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, just that as you hurt. get kicked in the shin. <laughs> Ow. Jeremy, you're real good at being discreet. Anybody ever told you that before? I'm so good at it. Yeah. They were lying. No. <laughs> Uh, and he comes Jolene. back with the drinks. She's like, they were lying. Speaking of discreet, I would not recommend the back of the beauty parlor for that kind of thing. For that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I have, Strength that down. is probably the worst possible place to meet with anybody because of that big open field and everyone can see Wait, everything. Ani, do you know about something with the owner of the beauty parlor? Uh oh, the owner of the beauty parlor? Is she yeah. also having a thing? I don't know. Because the only people I've seen back there recently are. Uh... Absolutely. I, have you seen my lipstick anywhere? I can't find my lipstick. It's gone. <laughs> my lipstick is gone. <laughs> have you, well, have any of you, you guys, did you guys just come from back there anyway? Did you come from uh, Pickles? Happen to see it on your way in. It's not in my purse. <laughs> No, but maybe when you go to Beatty's tomorrow night to watch Hayden's gig, you might find it again. Yeah. You know, no. if you're not busy uh, with your friends. I don't know why I would be busy. We are all going to your gig, which I'm so excited for. I am so excited for your gig. Let's talk about your gig. Thank you. Yeah. For <laughs> what? Sorry, uh, someone, someone called my attention right there. Uh, you talk about your, your lipstick, Joey. Uh, what, what shade was that? Oh, it, it was the red I normally wear. As you can tell, I'm wearing a pink shade today, which is not my color, obviously. Uh, uh, I need it, my, my red it, shade. But it's just it, because, as uh, my, my good friend uh, Hayden and I were leaving Pickles, we, we saw Carl, and um, I, it was the strongest thing. He, he, he inquired um, if anybody had lost some red lipstick. I'm like, why, why would Carl have red lipstick? Oh. We all know Dolly wears nude lips. Everybody knows that about Dolly, right? That just I mean, yeah, of course. Everybody knows that. Dolly's <laughs> lips are iconic, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> so. It's a totally normal it... thing for us all to talk about. <laughs> is it that Lips and butts is apparently what we think about in this small town. <laughs> well, look, it's all about when we talk about the thing from the lake, which I only learned about today. So oh, well, maybe, may maybe he found it when it dropped. Uh, somewhere, because obviously I don't know how else he would have found it. So I will have really? to find him <laughs> later on. Maybe I'll I'll see him tomorrow at the gig that I invited him and his wife to. I invited both of them. I invited Carl and Dolly to see your show. I hope you don't mind that I'm I'm inviting. Oh no, that, I appreciate it greatly. Where did you bump into Carl? Um, Where did I, you bump into Carl? Well, I mean, I she's did. best friends with Dolly, right? Exactly. <gasps> You're best friends with Dolly? Yes, <laughs> I am. Okay. I, did. I, have best I forgot about Dolly. that. <laughs> Ani's like, oh my god, this is worse can than I, I thought. Can I, like, 
take a step back and and ask a meta question here. Can we ask Jolene to roll some dice for just the all the feet yeah. she's shoving in her mouth right now? Like <laughs> this yes. is such um, a, a roll? risky a situation. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do my redhead dice and my dark knight dice because I don't think my shiny dice are gonna help me right now. Now draw less attention to yourself. Don't use the shiny ones. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Wait, what what am, am I adding or subtracting? <laughs> I mean it'd probably be prep, right? Yeah, it would be prep. This is definitely a social role. Okay, okay, so I'm I'm adding. Okay, cool. So nine. <laughs> Now, you have two tokens. You could spend them to raise it to a 10. Or you could accept my offer to lower that down. (laughs) 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 Which, accepting the the offer, wouldn't that give you your third token? And you could break the slate. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. And become a moral paragon. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone believes you. This is an option that I have yet to see, and I would really like to see how this mechanic works. And we're at the end of the game, so sure, screw me over. Do your worst. (laughs) Okay, so I think Ani would be the the character least in this scene, because we're all, Ani's the... Wait, yeah, and, and, we're all sitting at the t- Jolene's sure. definitely acting against like the environment because it's all of us. It's <laughs> all of you are ganging up against me right now. So I am what intentionally I... you get to, uh, so you get to add uh, uh, some kind of complication to this. Hmm. All right. Um... How it made the situation worse. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, how it made wait, so oh gosh, how it makes this situation worse? Or I can add a complication make okay, so Dolly and Carl walk in the door. Can I do that? Oh, no. Is that okay? Yeah, I think that's the oh, perfect. Can they, so many characters, that's going to be the best. Can they walk in the door, like, while Jolene is yes, loudly like, explaining like, about I'm not... the lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> I might have yeah. both to it. He's probably just found my lipstick sitting there when we were talking. <laughs> hey, Dolly. Hey, is... Carl. Table oh. for two? But there's room here, too, if you want to join your friends. Because Jolene's been saying how you guys are such all big friends and you're going to Hayden's concert tomorrow. So maybe if you want to come sit and make plans. Fly away. Love is like such a butterfly. I can't can't do this. (laughs) Oh. Um, Yeah. Uh, Hayden's concert. I, I told you about that. <clears throat> right, Dolly? The, the, the well, jo- Jolene yeah, wanted us to come did, hang out? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I believe that I invited both of you, uh, to come <clears throat> see Harper's show. My name's Hayden, but it was close. Hayden's show! <laughs> oh, I was like, right. <laughs> okay, so, it's your middle name. So <laughs> Harper, Hayden, 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 Harper. Harper Kensington. There we go. <laughs> You're the HHK, bro. I, I was just inquiring a, a at to what next. point Jolene had a, a communication with Carl. Did, did you know that people can now communicate by the internet on their phones? So was a message sent there? Is that how you communicated? Yeah, I'll bet that's oh, how the lipstick got communicated, God. too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking. I was on my way to help Ani get her uh, binoculars. And oh. I bumped into Carl, and that's where I think and Carl. Do you have my lipstick? I think it fell out of my purse when I bumped into you. On bumped. my way, giving you, <laughs> giving you, and I looked on it. You, your binoculars here. Oh. Completely innocent. Thanks. <clears throat> oh, um, y- yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I seen it on the ground and. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. I'll take that. Thank <clears throat> you so much. Um, I ain't this a coat of many colors. Oh, <laughs> um, I'll take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a <clears throat> list of her songs right here. <laughs> 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 um, 
So the binoculars, and no. what did you need those binoculars for? Anyway, Ani, Ani, why did you need? Oh, for the cryptid. We're going to go, uh, Jenny and I are going to go hunt the cryptid. Did you want to come too, Claire? Claire's like, yeah, sure, it could be interesting. Anybody else? Um, Willie, get me out of this awkward after, situation. After we, eat, have... we, could all, we could all go. Ooh. You know what? I... Uh, uh, one of these things I got signed up for on, on that, you know, my, uh, it's some kind of that. cryptid group thing. You know, maybe we could share pictures. Are you sure that wasn't crypto? I don't know. <laughs> they are giving ads all the time at this point. Oh, oh no, I, I definitely signed them up for the cryptid stuff. Okay. You're welcome. Um, I think I might have home for a nice cup of a warm tea or something. Your food hasn't arrived yet. All I can say is one of the messages I got on there was something about discreet and wanting pictures. So discreet picture of what? Um, nothing. Um, when is the show? We didn't put that on the flyer. When is your show? Shows is uh, show? tomorrow night. Is it all ages? It is all ages. Awesome. I will definitely be there to see the drama. I mean, the music. The music <clears throat> is going to be great. Well, we're going to be playing a special uh, country cover, so... Uh... Oh, Ooh! <laughs> Dolly, I suggested that he do a, um, a country cover, because I know uh, you and I are both going to be there, and Carl's going to be there, and we're all going to be there together at one time, and it's going to be great, and I just thought we'd like a cover of a country, would, a country song cover. It would be so cool if someone dedicated I Will Always Love You to someone in the crowd. Oh, that would be so sweet. That would be so sweet. And and maybe we are maybe... not going to play. I will always love you. Sorry. You don't have I the don't, range. I don't want to set. <laughs> I don't have the it's... range of. <laughs> the name slips me now. <laughs> the hell sang that song? Dolly Parton, Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Dolly Parton. Whitney Houston. <laughs> it, it's all right. No, I don't have the range of Whitney Houston. Are you kidding me? <laughs> By the All range right, of Whitney what? Houston, you think I'd still be in this damn town? <laughs> nope. No offense to all y'all. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can dedicate one to Dolly. You know, old flames can't hold a candle to you because, you know, old flames can't. It'd be great. That would be the thing. You know, new flames are hard to start. and So, so we'll just keep the old flames. That'd be a really good one to work with. Wait, Hayden, did you and Dolly used to date? Wait, what? Your entire generation of people is so strange to me. It's, it's a complicated. Generation. Yeah, <laughs> all y'all old people. Did you used to date? I'm in the 90s, so I don't know if you can consider him old at this point. No. I think he's just classic. I'm not saying you're old, just older. <laughs> I'm 18. <laughs> I'm still young. <laughs> I'm a brat. <laughs> You know, there was someone who messaged me on the app saying they were a brat. Don't know what that's all about. <laughs> that means something different now. <clears throat> I have no uh, idea Jamie, what that we'll, means. I'll, uh, I'll explain that to you. Click. You he also can thinks help I me. got we'll kids. He kept wanting to call me daddy. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely have to help explain that to you. <laughs> Let me I just... would Claire's like, like to not be there when you explain <laughs> what Brad's like... and Patty's are. Harper... like, just give me your phone. Just give me your phone. Harper reaches into the inside of their jacket and pulls out a little flask. Take a shot. <laughs> puts it back. Don't. Oh, Lord. Do we? Don't Do we begin him have... on that Tinder. We don't need no more flames burning here. Do we want to have one last roll from Jolene on after... <laughs> You want to break the slate and make yeah. one last roll? Oh, yeah. I want to make one last attempt to not fuck up my what last you, story. What are you gonna What are you gonna do with your break in the slate? <clears throat> um, so I could take another attribute if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, you take a you create a new you attribute. Make something up, yeah. Yeah, you make something up, and then you get a plus two on it, but you reset all your other values down to zero. Okay, so. Uh, prior to this job and this gig, uh, I was a dancer in another town, so I would like to get a phone call saying that I have a really big job and I should go, and thanks to, thanks that, uh, Claire is staying here, 
uh, we finally have um, Claire to say here, I can get out of town quick, maybe possibly, if I can not be found out here. Okay, and, what, and what's your new trait? Oh, uh, my new trait is... Um, Dodge. Oh Dodge. <laughs> yeah, get out of Dodge. Do my, Dodge my works. My is, um, is, uh, yeah. Run away quickly. Get out of town. Aw, oh, shucks. Bless Please. her heart. Can it be bless her heart? Yeah, <laughs> go for bless it. Her. Yeah, it can be that. You can, <laughs> literally, it can be anything you want it to. You get a plus two for that, and you get to roll one last time. To save yourself from this awkward situation. <laughs> so awkward right now. I, as a player, love it. Huh? Okay, okay. Huh? Wait, I, I add two to it, right? Yes. Yeah. It's 12. I rolled a five and a five. It's 12. Motherfucker. Good. Yeah. Then you get exactly what you want. Somebody calls up and offers I'm you a new. He, he looked at he was looking at the my shiny dice which i was not rolling this time because you rolled a two honey i was like i didn't roll those dice. <laughs> so should yeah so Anna's like so do you want your food to go yes please i would love my food to go ah uh, this is incredible this is an amazing feat um uh and i'm looking down at my phone it's like i am going to the big city cast Oh, congratulations! What, like right now? Oh no, uh, it's it's. I'll be able to come see your show. I'll be able to come see your show and say goodbye to everybody properly. <laughs> um. So, I'll so say you're going goodbye. To... Claire asks, "Wait, you're going back to Metropolis?" Uh, no, a different city. Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Gotham City. I'm going to Gotham City. I, I never heard nothing bad happen in Gotham City. City. To get away from Carl and Gotham. <laughs> That's kind of weird since you just asked Claire to be your roommate. But uh, congratulations. I will send rent still so I can come back and visit. I can come back and visit. I'll just give a side eye to Carl. Visit sometimes. <laughs> Oh, you know, couldn't you sublease your your place to uh to some you know someone who's maybe been looking for a place in town so not having to be up in the mountains with her family so much? Do that? That uh do you Jenny? know anybody? Jenny, Jenny. <clears throat> Yeah, I could um do that. Jenny, that would be great. You'd be doing me such a you have no idea the favor you'd be doing for me right now by subleasing this. Wait. Anna's like, yes! <laughs> we can uh, no, we... talk about that flavor, favor sometime later, That'd maybe when great. you visit. Um, if we got a guest room, you can do all your, your shenanigan, uh, your shenanigan plot now and for with in there, but I don't know what y'all do. Um, <laughs> It'd be great for you, too. Uh, oh, yeah, for us, too. <clears throat> It'd be great. Claire's like, yeah, we can make up for lost time. You know, do pedicures, pillow fights. I can leave some of my nail polish Netflix. and stuff. Don't leave any of your lipstick, though, Jolene. I, won't, I wouldn't dream of leaving my lipstick anywhere. That was an accident. I left it on the ground. I don't know how <laughs> Carl got it, other than maybe when we bumped into each other. Can we please stop talking about this now? <laughs> I, lean o I lean over to Jeremy, and I'm like, it's like a wind-up doll. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Ani, you know, I did, um, I heard you got the, the, those, um, binoculars, and I think, yes. I think I know where we should look, uh, for And Griffin. if you, this is awesome, if you move into town, and then it won't take, like, an hour for you to get here, every time I, like, you know, throw up the cryptid signal, it would be amazing. Yeah, that would be. But you got a signal? It's yes. usually just a text, but. <laughs> Uh, shh, you're ruining it. It's a text that has sound effects to it. <laughs> Texts are these things you get on what are called cell phones. <laughs> oh no, I set up a cell phone for him. <laughs> I don't know what a text is. <laughs> That's as I'll, as I'll just saw I'll be like.
Uh, uh, just just yeah. to throw it out, at some point during this meal, uh, Hayden will flag down Ani's uh, mom and like e explain the situation that happened with the fight and that it was all their fault and, and such. That like, that hmm. is that's less dramatic than all the other stuff that's <laughs> happening, but it is something Hayden is going to make sure to do. She's right. like, mm, okay, walks away. That's all she's like. Again, mm, okay. Really, there was an argument about nineties uh, alt rock bands. Yeah, I mean that's that was exactly really what happened. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember it. Yeah, um, Mama, that was sure hard to handle. Now, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of your band things, right? <sighs> no? What is, what is life? Alright, all right. so we are a little a little over three. I think it is time for us to wrap up our this scene of everybody oh, having no dinner. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is love? To drive home the awkwardness, though, we definitely got dark. Uh, Dolly and and uh, Carl to sit with us. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, that was that was a beautiful, beautiful. I hate you all. Beautiful. Thank yes, you. Yes. Now that I six. Now that there are seven people, I add an auto tip to the bottom of the show. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Technically, I could do it at five, but seven feels more justified. Okay. <laughs> right. I, I like the idea that Ani is explaining this to us. <laughs> 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 All right, so we will uh, start with Maxine. Uh, mm -hmm. Sign up. Tell us who you are, where we can find you on the internet. And... Hi, my name is Maxine Bachman, <laughs> and I am very not Jolene, but you can still find me everywhere except behind the beauty parlor. <laughs> 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 Only Carl can find you there. <laughs> Only Carl, only Carl, and maybe Dolly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fingers crossed, not. Um, but you can find me literally anywhere and everywhere except there at uh, that girl at that place. And uh, on Instagram, I am Lady Skyburn. And you can also find my art, um, which commissions are open right now, um, at that girl's art page. And uh, I will be here again tomorrow for the Power Rangers game. And I will actually be playing um, later on this evening um, for the uh, inspectors um, on the Gilding Light channel. So if you want to see me again later tonight being another completely different character, uh, check out Gilding Light uh, this evening. And uh, let's see, what else do I do? I do so much. <laughs> Just check my Discord and my Twitter and those things uh, for the different stuff that I do. Um, until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. And Bardic. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have been, am, and will continue to be the Bardic Knock. You can find me on the internet, Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, and YouTube, all as the Bardic Knock. I um, do a variety of different things. Um, it, it's easy to just say, go, go look at those things instead of me trying to describe them all. And, uh, yep, yeah, I was playing Jeremy. And this is not what I originally intended. Um, I, I, I accidentally picked up the, the twang from Jolene and went it's with so, it. It's oh, so that was not, I was that not, was not the voice I had planned. <laughs> I just made all y'all southern. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, and, and this was a, a blast. So I, I want to give a big thank you to everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, and Harper. Uh, hi, I'm Harper. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at HarperTheJ, all one word. Um, you might accidentally see some places where it says Christopher86 because I didn't update anything when I changed my Twitter handle because I'm smart. Um, you can also find me on itch.io as Chubby Crow Games. Uh, I am a new sort of fledgling. Uh, designer that has uh, actually just released something called Nectars, which is a mech farming game. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook, and I mean it's all it's all connected. So uh, yeah, that's me. All right, and Doreen. 
Hi, you can find me on Twitter primarily at Valeris, D-V-A-L-E-R-I-S. I also design games on itch.io using Valeris. Um, and uh, Hayden and I both, sorry, Harper and I, now I'm doing a Jolene, both have games in the uh, recent, oh, well, yes. in the TTRPGs for Trans Rights in Texas bundle, which has three days left. As uh, Nerdy Teddy mentioned earlier, we have crept past the 390,000 uh, point, uh, raising funds for two amazing charities, um, fighting for trans rights in Texas. Uh, it would be amazing if we made it to uh, 420,000 in the next few days. Uh, check it out on Itch. It's an amazing bundle for only $5. You get almost 500 TTRPG-related uh, game TTRG related items, supplements, and games. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I just looked at your itch page. I didn't realize you were the one hosting the coffee and tea jam. That's so cool. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I don't even know how much time I have left on that. Seven, seven hours. Seven you just hours. Had a famous person moment. I saw that. You're like, oh my gosh. I, I I was on the page and I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, we have 72 um, people who have joined and 24 entries, seven hours left to get in your game. Oh, and, of course, the jam will be up for a really long time if you just want to browse some of the amazing coffee and tea-related uh, games that people have submitted, including a game on the cup. It's so amazing. I need to get one of one of those for, like, one of my regular gaming games for Christmas. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And I am Nerdy Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy and in the Nerds with Dice Discord and Monday nights. Uh, as I said before, I'm hanging out with every other Monday night now. I gotta remember that. It, hanging out with Bardic Knock, uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And let's see. Currently, my only regular game is the Friday night Power Rangers game, Millennium Nights. We are switching games to for one night only to ultra fighting teenage heroes go it's in the bundle it is a one page sentai style rpg so we're gonna switch over to that for one night and <clears throat> showcase that one as well that is oh i should remember to mention this because there's like three four days left for uh, a podcast that me and bardic are going to be putting together it's a villainous mutant mutants and masterminds uh podcast you can find the application on twitter it's also in the nerds with dice discord and the recruitment board or you can message me and ask it ask me for it and i'll uh shoot it over we're gonna be putting that together uh that is everything i have a few games and stuff that i wrote that you can find on the link um there is none, none of it's in the bundle but uh my favorite is remains being the tax sisters you can uh add them to your uh visit us versus small goss game they're like the canker sisters meets uh the hex sisters from scooby-doo um and that is everything i got Thank you, everyone, for showing up tonight. It was great. It was so much fun. Thanks, for everybody, for playing. Cat, give me, like, ten <laughs> minutes. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, That's like, going... I want in on the drama, too. <laughs> no, he just wants to be in my lap, but... <laughs> He also doesn't like m when I type when I do that, and I need okay, my okay. fingers for a moment. Uh, we're going to raid uh, Gila RPGs. Looks like they're designing something, and uh, we will see you tomorrow night. Bye, everyone. you don't